I'm so excited to say Josh's private name and address. Hello, Mugs of the Month <laughs> and everybody else. Welcome back to episode two. Um, Fuck everybody else, by the way. Oh, You're not excuse me. a Mugs of the Month, then, like, absolutely die. I wonder who not, okay. watched this TNT video that is not a Mug of the Month. It got a decent amount of views, to be fair. Didn't it? Okay, I'm going to start with a quick recap from last time for everybody who's forgetful. Uh, I got 26 views, by the way. In the village of Pale Bank, on the northeastern corner of the continent of Morthyr, our group of adventurers meets for the first time at a funeral for a dwarf named Urgon Wenth. Elro, the village leader, invited everyone to confer with him about pursuing the mystery behind what happened, and offered to meet with the party regarding specifics later in the evening. You all made your way to the Jolly Dwarf, a tavern and inn within the village, and while Kohog bought dinner and milk and ale for the group, Loud Metal Pipe Noise performs a series of exceptional card tricks. After dinner was had, you departed for the town center building where you met up with Elro. He explains that the affliction, which made the dwarf move slowly and caused blue veins to appear all over his body, appears to not have been an isolated incident, as Tulgi Lutan, a dwarven hunter, hunter, has begun showing signs of a similar illness. Tulgi turned Elro away when he tried to investigate, and he hoped the party would have better luck. In exchange for you accepting this quest, Elro gives the party two healing potions and a scroll of Goodberry, as well as the promise of 120 gold to the party upon completion of the mission. And that's where we left off. So as Elro finishes explaining all this to you, uh, you hear a quiet knock on the door, and you turn to look, and the uh, figure who had led you in previously, the, the receptionist lady, uh, opens the door slowly, and standing next to her is another figure. Uh, and Bean, do you want to describe your character real quick? Okay, okay, oh god. Okay, so... My character's name is Baylith, um, Oathbreaker Paladin Tiefling, so kind of like purple skin, uh, black, kind of short, shoulder-length hair, and, um, what else I want to say? So, I'm here because Elro hired me, he wants to hire me for something. I used to work for the Platinum Watch, which is like the temple in the, the town, but I got kicked out for reasons, and so I'm kind of low-key right now, I'm kind of doing like mercenary jobs, so I'm kind of wearing a hood because I don't want people to notice me. And if you see my wanted posters, you don't. So yeah, that's <laughs> about it. Great. So yeah. Elro... No, I'll have someone in the group. Thank God, we have our, we have our placement tiefling. <laughs> <laughs> so Elro kind of motions for you to step into the room and says, uh, this is Baylith. She's going to be joining you all on your excursion, on your investigation. Um, I hope that you will all get along well, and I hope things go well for you. Um, now, I would suggest... Um, you can either talk to Tulgi, or at least try, at her cabin, or you could, I could give you a warrant to search Urgon's home to see if there's any clues in there. Um, it, I don't think anyone's been in there since he passed, so it, my, I'm not sure what's in there, but perhaps there would be clues. Um, and he hands you a little written warrant, um, that just allows you passage into Urgon's home. Um, again, I, I would like to thank you again for helping out with this with this with this quest and if there's any questions please don't hesitate to ask you're very welcome i have a question for the dungeon master mm -hmm. uh what was the two things we got last time because i forgot to note that down uh, there were the roll, uh, two potions of healing and a scroll of goodberry and i believe you took good. the potions and yeah. nebeko took the scroll so that scroll is out of the kit. <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty sure I took both of the things. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Yeah, you took poisons. I hate that the fact that maybe the roll, maybe the scroll was actually like burst, and when you touch it, you just disappear from existence. I mean, do we we could do like we like Nibiko is just like a NPC right now, and metal loud metal pipes falling has to do a sleight of hand like roll to try and steal the roll the scroll real quick. If he wants, and then if he does, maybe steal it from a dead person. Well, I mean, I'm just saying like we could treat her like an NPC person. Well, she's still with you. She's still with you right now. For for right now, Nibiko and Jez are both standing with you. The whole party is together, in canon. So, so you're gonna try to steal it? Bob metal pipes. <laughs> I I mean I guess I could try. If you want I to. I don't know what, what, in what my are you opinion, at your party member immediately. You should, in my opinion you shouldn't, but it's up to you. Um Obviously I will. Slide of hand, let's see. I have a, I got a five bonus in slide of hand. Alright. Fuck's 
Uh, what do I have to roll, Pagan, for the sleight of hand to succeed? Uh, just roll it. See what you get. Alright, a d20? Yep. Singular d20. Yep. Uh, alright, so hide, not, not hidden. Who? No! <laughs> no! Ah, oh. uh, yeah, he has bails, probably. Um, uh, one second here. Um, I don't think Bondo should be allowed to succeed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Nimeko notices you and kind of steps away as you try to do that uh, without so saying anything. Character, yeah. Um, fair enough, fair enough. Well, I guess we don't have to roll un until next turn. <laughs> well, that Fine. case, uh, partly we should, dis we should uh, talk which direction. Go. Do we go to the house of the dead guy or do we go to this other person? I like dead guy more. I That's also fine. like dead guy more. I like the idea of invading a stranger's home posthumously. <laughs> True. Um, the right to right. privacy does not exist in these lands. We can go to the dead person. Okay. Yeah, dead person. Let's get the crime scene. One second here. So, Elro, in the process of giving you the warrant, also points you toward where. Um, Orgon's cabin is. Um, if I can. Whoa, magic. Um, so Orgon's cabin is right across the street from diagonally from the town center building, and he just kind of nice. points that out to diagonally you. Diagonally where? Here. Oh, Use your eyes, oh, yeah. dude. Luckily, we have a, we have a map. Oh, a very nice. handy little map to show you where everything is. All right, so you make your way out of the the uh, town center building. Um, Jez throws up on the ground and... No. Oh. <laughs> <Dumb. laughs> says, damn, I'm feeling pretty sick right now. And Nibako says, don't worry, I'll take care of it. And they head back into the um, the inn together. And they leave you. Okay. <laughs> That's way less funnier than falling into a hole. Two separate holes. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. I think the players will be happier with this outcome. Um, so they, they walk away as you make your way to the cabin, and um, as you approach, you notice there is um, a single Platinum Watch rookie just kind of standing guard outside the door. Um, it's a cramped cabin. It probably was a cozy place when Oregon was alive, but um, no longer really looks, looks to be so. Um, I have a thing here somewhere. Whoa. So yeah, standing outside is just a single platinum watch, just kind of making sure nobody gets in who's not supposed to. <laughs> as you approach... Should we kill him? <laughs> um, as you approach... Uh, so as you approach, you notice it, it's a female wood elf. She's just kind of standing there with her arms crossed. And then she, as, as she sees you approach, she says, Stop! What is your business? Somebody Who has the best charisma? Should, Who has the best charisma out of all of us? Uh, I don't have charisma. There's I absolutely no reason we shouldn't just show the warrant. We don't need to like try fucking. We yeah. could, however, just kill her. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why not? Uh, no. Uh, uh, stabs. No, but look. I cast Eldritch. Yeah, I mean, do we have a. We don't need to do all the fight. We don't need to do I'll remind you, you are in the middle of town. Okay, I'm just making sure. I'm just making sure. Oh, okay, so, so, so Koag is a half elf, and I think elves are normally like good diplomats, so you go. Your turn. Go. Okay, I pull out the document. Okay. Or the warrant. <laughs> I show them the warrant. Hey, we have a warrant to search this place granted from the mayor. May we? Uh, yeah, I was. I heard somebody would be would be coming. So uh, please make your way inside. Nice. And Thank you very much. she steps aside, um, and you get entrance to the cabin. Um, Sweet. It's, a, it's not so easy. <laughs> it's a cramped. <laughs> it, it was probably previously pretty cozy. Uh, there's an unmade bed near a cold fireplace. Uh, over the mantel, there's a head hung of something snarling. A white beast with gray horns. On the other side of the room, there's a small table with dirty dishes and a dwarf-sized chair with two empty shelves, contents scattered all across the floor. There's kitchen utensils, dried food things, adventuring gear, and a couple of books. I would like to take the adventuring gear. 
Okay, um, so looking through the equipment that's on the ground, there's uh, a silvered maul, there is a suit of splint armor, um, some fur clothing, a grappling hook, and a lantern. I want the, the grappling hook and the lantern. Okay, you can note that down. Nice. Do a bird. <laughs> He's a bird person. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you feel your grappling hook, I've got my whip. We can do the same thing. <laughs> um, can I have what a Laria look through the, the book scattered on the floor? What was that? Can I have a Laria look through the book scattered on the floor? Uh, yeah, go ahead and make a, a uh, investigation check. Sure. Nice. Great. <laughs> That's very good. <laughs> Um, I mean, yeah, there's just an assortment of random books. Um, nothing really catches your eyes. Anything particularly interesting. Get out the way. I'm going to take a look. I'm going to go. To the books as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. Press roll, roll investigation. Anyone who anyone wants to look at the books, go ahead and roll investigation. Okay. Hello? Why is, why is it not popping up? Hello? Question mark? Hello? Do you have it hidden? Come on, Zoe. No, I'm not hidden. Oh, here we go. There we got it. Got it. No, 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 get out of here. No, that's not what I meant to do. Why did you add a D4? Four. Four. I didn't. Cheater, to cheater, cheater. Roll it again. Roll it again. Roll it again. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. And then wait, wait. Investigation is intelligence, so plus one. So I okay. Have thirteen. Um. So you're kind of picking through the books, and as you're doing so, um, something falls out of one of the books that was, um, seemingly just a bookmark. And you kind of take a closer look at it, and you find this. I'm going to put this in the mug and D chat. Ooh. Go back and forth. Okay. That's editing for the video. Oh, that's, that's true. I shouldn't have done this. <laughs> One hundred twenty gold piece for a dagger, this guy, sir. Pelk's curiosity. Um, so anyone who's been in town for any amount of time <gasps> would know Josh that Pelk's curiosities is a kind of antique shop in in the town um you also know that a couple months back it was broken into and robbed mm -hmm. mm. The f so mm. so is this a like receipt sort of thing yeah it's a receipt it appears these okay. items were bought by pelk's curiosities from um oregon wentz this is the signature there okay yeah should we should we say that sure because is. It's because this is locked at the top, should Kohog be completely unable to look at this? Yeah, Kohog, you have to bring your eyes. <laughs> it, it says Panth, Zoe. That's dust no. on the image. No, I think it no, says, it moth, says moth. And I think that's enough to carry it. Moth of Dwala here. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, that's like the final boss of this campaign. Fair that's enough. A, could be. Um, could be. Could be a moth specifically. Um, hmm. Okay. Can we so, see when this receipt was from? The tenth of Dwala, hey. Um, so oh, I'll say you guys aren't very good at this. You would recognize that as um, about two months ago. Or so about wait, two months ago. Did he tell us how long ago um, the guy like went out and then came back and started presenting symptoms? I don't remember. He said, let me double check this, two months ago. Oh, that's suspicious. Mm -hmm. so, so, we can assume these are items he got coming back from the place you're supposed to investigate. But that would check out. No, sure. Although we are investigating his house first of all. Well, Apparently do we, we know? should go to Pouch do... Curiosities after this and inquire well... about this purchase, I would say. Well, do we know how long he was gone at the place? Like, was he gone he long was, enough to where he's clear? Like, yeah, he was away for the better part of a year. You were told. Okay, okay. So yeah, this is definitely when he came back. Okay, nice. That's fine. We should go there later. Does this the mean meantime? that he has the money still anywhere around this house? Um, make an investigation check. All right, I will investigate. Wait, what's my investigation bonus? Let's see. In to be clear, he used the money notes. to pay for these things, presumably, so he shouldn't have them in the house, but it's fine. You can do No, it, yeah. no, the store bought them. No. Didn't yeah. They? Yeah, the store bought these, right? Yeah. Based on this receipt, oh, the store bought them from him. Yep. 
Uh, right, oh, I, will, I, I was misreading that too. Tag. You sold these things, then. Seven. I don't think I find the money. I guess. Uh, this is seven. Gonna... Yeah. Yeah. Looking around, you don't see any signs of money or anything. Am I gonna have to do all the investigation work around here? I don't think I you should know. investigate to find the money for Bando. I feel like Bando's just I being think I a should. fucking penny finching asshole. Um, well, I I more so like the idea of um, just seeing that Bando's investigating something and knowing that he can't find anything and be like, oh, I'll help you out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he he help like, hey, rabbit girl, you found the bookmark. Go dig through the dirty clothes. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm gonna do another investigation check to help uh, okay. a little pike falling. Sure, go ahead. Are we going to dice? Is it an investigation check again? Is it just like the, the normal one? Yeah. The D20, yep. Yeah. D20. Okay. So I, I got like three. <laughs> yeah, you don't see anything at all. Damn it. I like the... Oh. 17. I got a 17. All right, so Bailiff, Plus looking one. around, you, oh, you're kind of looking under the bed. You're looking through all the, the counters and the cupboards and everything. You don't see really any signs of money being kept in here anywhere. Um, it, nah, it seems no anything he had was probably kept on him and is no longer in here. Can we investigate the storage room? There's probably something here. Uh, I'd like to run an investigation check on all the little bits of content scattered around the floor, especially near the back table, because that seems You're right, John. suspect. Do your role. Let's yeah. do... Oh, yeah, you can change how it looks. Um, let's do this one. And D twenty. Oh. Sixteen. Nice. And what what were you looking at, Kohog? Uh just the kind of content scattered around particularly this corner by over the there. table. Yeah, over there yes, yeah. it seems there's yeah, just some dirty dishes. There's the like a table with some old food on it with mold growing on it. Um nice. nothing really of any import. Hmm. You feed it to the goblin. <laughs> that would be really, really mean. Hey, can um, we, can we um, uh, investigate the fireplace? Yeah, is this like a fireplace? Uh, yeah, Ilaria, have you rolled investigation yet? Uh, I did earlier. <laughs> what, what did you get? I got three. Okay. It I was mean, the one that made me investigate the yeah, books. The books yeah. <laughs> it's a cold fireplace. There's Nothing. old charcoal in there that's frozen over. Frozen? What do I see? Okay. Just, just mm. probably due to the coldness of the area it's still in it's not it's warm here no no anyway. can i look through these sacks i kind of just want if, to see if it's like flour so i can steal it for food okay um uh, and you guys are horrible <laughs> you're gonna carry it and yeah. everything everything you see in there is old kind of all over the floor there's there's flour but it's mixed in with dirt and dust boo well, I have a sneaking suspicion we found our plot important item, <laughs> and we can probably dip. <laughs> and we're just investigating hey, stuff. Hey, hey, DM, yeah, it's, it's still stuff That's okay, here. we're totally allowed to. I, I, I feel like the DM would tell us if we, if we had no. to leave. No, I check would never give it to us. Wheelbarrow thing? Uh, leave the house. <laughs> yeah, you take a look over in the, the wheelbarrow oh. thing. Um, there's It's just a wheelbarrow. There's nothing inside of it, oh, nothing under it. Oh, yeah, I just uh, remembered. Did anyone want to take... Like, about the other adventuring gear that was lying around. What was it all? Yeah. There it was. was like a there's a maul. There is splint armor, uh, fur clothing, and then I believe pipe noise took the grappling hook and the lantern. I did. That's correct. So if, any, if anyone else wants any of the other stuff, Mm. Seems uh, like a no. Uh, no, nope? okay. <laughs> I mean, so much you're probably doing armor, lining. but like, eh, I don't want to cramp my style. So I'm sure I'm equipped. Um, I'm not supposed to wear armor. I'd like to pull one of the horns on the wall-mounted beast. Yeah, I was actually going to ask: Do we like recognize the board. recognize the 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 creature on the wall? Um, go ahead and make a a nature check. That's for Wolfie. Oh. Any, anyone who's investigating that creature, so Kohog and Alaria probably. What's my, what's my nature? Oh. Hold on. Probably none. That's fine. I do have a oh. plus three nature oh. if you want me to do it. Oh, nature. damn. Because... Okay, uh, Alaria, a with a 20, you, you immediately recognize this. This is a, a yeti. Um, there are monstrosities found in the in the Himitem Hills. That's awesome. Okay. Wow. Very cool. Oh. You want to take the Unless head they killed around How here. How much do those heads sell for? 
Um, to the right person, you could get a decent price on it, but you're not aware specifically of anyone in town who might be specifically interested in it. Mm. We do have the pawn, the, the trading shop. We can... And Black Soul Man, if us are just trying to like steal this poor dead man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. he doesn't need it anymore. He yeah. doesn't. It's true. Doesn't. And clearly, there's no like inheritance. Dark is the kind anymore. of person who hates grave robbers. Yeah, right. uh, well, I personally feel done with this little uh, home. Do you want to kill the wood elf while we're going out? <laughs> Why? <No. laughs> right, anything else anyone's right. doing? I. But what uh -huh. if he's like rich and we kill him and we just walk away with a lot of money? Uh, she's yeah, a girl, by the way. This is not yeah. What if she's rich? Check, like this area. You wanna? Do you think there's something here? Yeah, okay, let, let's check these uh, crates where there's something here. Crates. Okay, okay. down some the hay bales. Checking, checking out that area, there's... Um, in that little pen area, there's two troughs and some hay. Just kind of... Um, that's, that's about all you see. In those crates, it's just some, like, extra food storage but it's pretty empty emptied out probably after he passed away unfortunate what if there's Seems a we weren't the first ones to steal from him uh, <laughs> what if in this hay there's a treasure uh if you'd like to, if you'd like to look you may yeah there's probably right, a needle well, in there good luck let's let's check out whether we can find a needle in this hay. Let's go. yeah make a All investigation right. Pablo right. Pipes just want the hay for his nest. Unfortunately, I'm very bad at investigating. So, you know that joke before I could, but I was going to do it in camera. <laughs> 19. <laughs> What's the total, Vando? You got a 19. It's a 19 total because I have no investigation bonus. Okay, there's a lot of hay. <laughs> going to... I'm glad we needed the total for that. that... <laughs> Make fun of them from a distance for digging through a haystack. I got a 5, it's me... over. No, you I think me... There's me and Kohog are laughing. Do a good amount of hay, Bailith. It's true, it's true. Pipe can make a mess out of it. <laughs> Dude, that's so fun. I, I swear. The, the, the next race is like, the next time this guy says anything racist, he gets Eldritch Blast in the face. Take some of the straw and put it in your clothes. They, they warm. <laughs> that might work. It might be itchy. Didn't they have like warm clothes in the floor or something? Why Wait, no. Wait, no, he can't do that because then he'll be a scarecrow. Hey, oh, oh my oh. god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so she's allowed to be fancy racist to you, by the way. Well, that was that was pretty was funny, funny though. That was funny. That was pretty funny. <laughs> like, there, there's funny puns, and then there's Josh saying, "This guy is a stupid racist." <laughs> you guys should have seen my brain wheels like turning. That was that joke. Oh, I can imagine it. Eyes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, anything yeah. else you're doing at the at the at the cabin here? I curse under my breath because I hate that bird brain bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm this close to Eldritch Blasting this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Our first like... friend never dies getting Eldritch Blast. <laughs> the final fight of this campaign is Kohog versus Loud Metal Pipe Noise. I'm gonna like, slightly <laughs> punch Kohog and tell him to like, chill out. Yeah, I'm the funny one. Actually, there's an even better way to do this. Uh, you could take this uh, bucket filled with the water here and then just splash Josh while he's outside with the water. Then if, if, if there is water, if, if there is water yeah, in here, cool. it is ice by now. Yeah, there's ice in the troughs. Yep. <laughs> you can throw ice at him. <laughs> Are we ready to go, yeah, there? Is, is there, is there anything uh, else we're supposed to be checking out here? I don't think it feels like it. We can't just ask the DM to meta game for us. Check whole perimeter. I guess so. We're doing a quick search. What if we? Just what if we just? What if we like duck all around the house for secret treasure? Let's sneak up. Behind. Yeah. Anyone who wants to check the perimeter, go ahead and. Uh... Can I investigate the street <laughs> for bird eggs? Yeah, go for it. Okay. If you're um... if you're looking around the whole perimeter, go ahead and make uh, either investigation <laughs> or I'll say perception could work for that, and then. Kohog, make investigation, checking out the, the tree. I love how we're investigating everything. <laughs> You're not going to leave gonna... anything behind. I'm going to roll my investigation right now for eggs in the tree. Okay. Yeah. Um, Yo! Yo. Nice and easy. Yeah, um, there are actually two pristine uh, sparrow eggs in the tree. 
Oh, I, if there were eggs, I would feel like pick them up and throw them up. It's like, crazy. Yeah, I don't, I don't, don't even feel like doing that anymore. It is quite crazy oh, because why would sparrows person. be in the like? Mm -hmm. Why would sparrows be in the birds? Yeah, yeah, Bando, shut it's up. Crazy. Yeah, you you know what fucking birds are. Bando, when he well, my, discovers my, my, fantasy my, 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 winter sparrows that I invented, <laughs> fuck you, Bando. That's a DM fail. You should have said winter sparrow. All right, um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Everyone, pause. Okay. Um. Loud Metal Pipe Nines, you take 42 bludgeoning damage as the tree falls under your head and you die. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm what? kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. First <laughs> up, no. even if that was the case, uh, Josh would have to roll for like cutting down the tree. And oh then no, I would have to it was just a Josh strange him. freak nature. No, 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 no. A sudden no, no. gust of wind. <laughs> Nothing anyone could do about it. Very unfortunate. Anyway, who is, uh, who is checking out the perimeter of the place? Bando is so desperate to get me to die with him, by the way. Alright, Baylith. Yeah, there was, yeah, there was there some yeah. old foodstuffs. Anyone else looking around the perimeter? I want to talk to the off. wood elf. Not, yeah, can I, can I talk to the wood elf and ask for information? Hey, hey I swear, you're first. This, this, this other elf is so thirsty. I was here first. Alright, um, so it was, who was talking to the, to the elf? It was, um, Alaria and Loud Metal Pipe Noise. Yeah. You, yeah. you make your way over in the in what do you say to them uh first uh, i want to ask uh, did anyone else come to this house in the last two weeks um well in in the last two weeks uh not really there's as 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 he was dying he had some visitors come in and out and then um once he once he did finally pass about a week ago he we um just kind of went in and and did a a cursory investigation but upon not finding anything we just decided it would be better to try not to let many people in we weren't sure if there was anything dangerous inside other than that it's just been you all right yeah uh, you can you can ask a question next oh okay uh, can i can i just ask uh like how much like what what uh the wood elf knew about the residents of this building um, well, he was definitely an adventurer. He was gone for quite a while. He apparently had found some good stuff while he was away and then sold it off to the uh, antique shop collector. Um, but from what I heard, that place got ransacked a couple months back, so I'm not sure what happened there. I don't really know the details of that. But That's important information. Note it down. That's my guess. That's down. just indeed. Like, that's that's all I know. The happens near his death. Do we know what happened to all the money? Uh, I believe it was distributed as according to his will. He had some loved ones that lived in different cities. All right, all right. Well, next, I, I, next I would like to ask the Wood Elf what she does for a living. Well, I flirting? recently joined the the Platinum Watch, uh, uh, hoping to be a paladin of, of the Platinum Dragon. Hey, that's um, I think that the Wood Elf would have had a perception check on uh, Bean. To, like, hey, we don't know. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, they didn't. They didn't to. seem to notice. Um, right. They were really bad watch. They're they're, they're they're a rookie, and Baylith hasn't been with them for. She's right. she's been out for a little while at this point. I'm gonna I'm gonna go up to the Wood Elf and I'm gonna ask if they heard any rumors about something bad happening um, for the temple for the watch. Well, they're. I heard someone talking about someone who left on pretty bad terms a little while ago. I don't know any details about it. They. Don't like to talk about it much, it seems. Okay, good. We're chilling. They, they won't attack me. I'm just gonna <laughs> slowly just go this way. In case cool. they see my wand posters anywhere. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> right. Next, I would like to ask the Wood Elf where she goes late at night. <laughs> um, well, I go home. That would be for that, like, for the evening hours. Uh, I spend most of my free time in, in the, uh, the Temple of Bahamut. That is pretty boring. Are you not desperate? I will now leave like the world out without saying that word. Just let her not have something. In fact, I will say that that is boring to her face and then leave. Banner just has zero To each yeah. their own, I suppose. Like, like metal pipes leave. thing, he just has zero riz. That's what it means. <laughs> Damn. He's got, what, plus four <laughs> charisma and still got no riz? Hell. <laughs> yeah, like, pat the wet off on the shoulder. He'd be like, it's, it's alright, and then leave. <laughs> sure, yeah. She doesn't say anything. I just like, we've all left now. Yeah, so, oh where are y'all heading next? Uh, uh, let's the, go to the, the, 
got, yeah. right? What is it called? Oh, to what? Pokes Curiosities. The Curiosities? Yeah. Sure. Uh, let me pull that. shake that guy down. Up here. I got ransacked. The, the guy that got robbed. <laughs> well, maybe there's still some stuff around. But robbers can't take everything with them, physically. Yeah, they gotta leave some stuff for you after all, fight. Yeah. Alright, yeah. so as you approach, um, it's a dark cabin. There's a sign over the door which reads Pelk's Curiosities. It's got an oh, image. I it's, had Patreon restaurant. <laughs> it's got an image of a curved dragon that's kind of making the letter P for a symbol for the shop. Um, the shop appears to be closed right now, but the door is slightly ajar. Um, does anyone have a passive perception of 11 or higher? I uh, think I might. Wait, I think uh, I do. Wait, where's yeah, passive perception? I have 13. Oh, passive wisdom, you mean? Yeah, I have 12. I have 11. Yeah, I have a 13. Okay. Um, anyone, anyone with 11 or higher, you hear from inside. There's some soft whispers and as, as well as some footsteps inside all right i think we should barge through the, in fact i think koak could barge through the door i say we just break down the door i actually well, would like, like a jar. Can get in. <laughs> actually nice. uh, i would just like to kind of sit or not. Front and listen in a bit more intently you know right. why, why of... is why is the warrior person like well we should sneak yeah he's a fighter yeah. not a warrior it's like Damn. i I just don't think it's worth taking, like, a ball yeah, the option there, that we might Is there any, it. like, windows around the building? Oh, yeah, let's check windows. Um, making your I way around like the windows. building, no, there no, 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 no. are... Well, Wait, everyone, I, anyone I, who's looking for, for windows, there are a couple. Um, there's one on each side, and they are shuttered and seemingly locked. Okay. In that case, I want to barge through the front door. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Loud metal pipe noise, you barge through the front door. Um, inside, you see uh, five figures, elves and dwarves, who are kind of like ransacking the area. And as soon as you barge through the door, they pull out their weapons and oh, no. charge oh, at no, you. Everyone, oh, no. go ahead and roll initiative as we start uh, first Ten. combat here. Going in. Let's All actually right, roll uh, for initiative. Uh, D20 plus your initiative bonus. We have initiative okay. three. Uh... Oh, God, I got a nine. What's my... Okay, Bailiff got nine. Shut it down. Uh, well, then plus the initiative, which is. I think it's one for me, so I got a ten. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go next. Oh, never mind. I went next. <laughs> uh, fourteen plus two, so I've got sixteen. Okay. okay. Now I'm gonna go. Five plus four, so I got nine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Uh, ten plus four is fourteen. Alright, next. That's a 16 oh. plus 3 to 19. Okay. What was that? Pipe noise? Yeah, 16 plus 3. 19. 19. Yeah. Okay. Um, is that everyone? Yep. Believe so. Alright. Oh, wait, my initiative is 2, so I got an 11 instead. It's my bad. Okay. That's fine. Bailiff 11. So, uh, I suppose appropriately for having barged into the door, uh, Pipe Noise, you're up first. As you notice, everyone is um, pulling their weapons on you. So, before we properly dive in... Um, this second. is the combat tutorial. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have a quick <laughs> combat tutorial. Uh, as soon as I pull this up here... Okay, I put a bookmark in here. So during combat, um, we go initiative order, top to bottom, everyone takes their turns. Uh, mechanically, each turn, each round will last six seconds, if that ever comes up. Um, on your turn, you can move up to a distance of your speed, um, and you can take one action. Um, you can decide to move first, or take your action first, or move a little bit, action, and then move a little bit more, it's up to you. Um, Should we get tokens on the board? That's yeah, a good idea. Probably. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you have? I don't know if you guys can do that, so I'll just add that real quick. So one, two, three, four, and who am I not yeah. having? Oh. Oh wait, that's weird. We get to a space on the board. <laughs> I'm pretending that because I had like, the lowest initiative, 
uh, Aero has not made herself, like, gone inside yet. She's just chilling outside for now. Who am I missing on here? Uh, yeah, oh, Bayless. Bayless, yeah, I don't have the token yet. Let me add that real quick. New image. Just a circle crop of the Baldur's Gate character. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking badass. Yeah, it'll make do, it'll make do right now. It'll work. I sound somebody didn't, you know, draw the character yet, so like... Hey, to be fair, my token is just an eye patch, so like, <laughs> and yours is just a stock photo of a witch, so like, you know. Oh, that was a deliberate <laughs> choice, though. I know, but I'm just saying, like, you know, it doesn't have to be a little... Alright, so stuff. everyone's tokens should be on the board, just go ahead and position yourselves where you would be as this is happening. Um, so... First um, you get your movement, you get your action. So as your action, there's a couple of things you can do. You can attack is probably the most common. Um, you can um, find... Let me just find the... All right, so you can attack. You can cast a spell that's listed as an action. Um, you can do a dash action where you can, instead of taking whatever normal action you do, you would move again up to your movement speed. You can use a disengage action, um, which would prevent enemies from being able to hit you if you're trying to move away from them, which they normally can do. Um, if you want to, you can dodge action. Um, if you do that, anything that attacks you until the start of your next turn will have disadvantage. Um, or you can hide. Uh, you can make a stealth check, and if you're successful, then you get then you get to be hidden. Uh, those are the main ones. Um, there's some things I'm not that are remember any of that. <laughs> That's okay. No. We'll, we'll, we can help you out there. Uh, there's some things that are listed as as a bonus action. Um, that's something you can do on top of your regular action and movement. Um, you can't do anything like interchangeably between action and bonus action. They are specifically whatever they're listed as. Um, but you can do action plus bonus action if you have the abilities that let you do that. Um, so. Um, Hopefully that makes at least a little bit of sense. <laughs> okay. Um, we'll work for it. We'll get it. Yeah, as right, we go, we can figure that out. Like, is everyone like, on the screen currently where they are? Um, Shouldn't you be inside since you're the one who... <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, get front. Like, get ahead of me. Like, get in front, Bando. No, no, but me... I well, said barging in would mean like... I'm... Well, barging barging like, in like, means here. you enter first. You they're open the door yeah, I'm here, so in. people should be not like, like you guys should not be like already in the building. Yeah, Ban Bando is the first, or Pipe Noise is the first one in. Everyone else is yeah. still outside at this point. Let's see, I'm gonna have the right idea. Following in, <laughs> Panda doesn't get fucking mauled by five guys. Hey, one moment, one moment. I'm really gonna yeah. get mauled by five guys. Ooh, yeah, I, I say, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so loud amount of Pipe Noise, you you are up first. All right. Um, what is the building made out of? Mostly stone. Ah, it's a portrait. <laughs> what are you gonna pick some words? Quick, say your name and throw them all off. <laughs> <laughs> is there any sort of like talk ability you can do to these people, or is combat in the end just combat? Like you just, I mean, you just gotta fight now. I mean, on your turn, if you want to try to say something, you can, and I'll say it doesn't. Like we, you, you guys can talk. Um, a little bit during combat. Just just know that, again, a single round takes six seconds. So within reason, yeah. you're not going to hold a full it conversation has to be an during combat. Style quip. Mm. Now, obviously, there's a charisma check option of like trying to scare the guys, or I could just elbow just one of them in the face. You could. It's up to I you. I think you should do that so we or learn there's how the combat smart works. Of, uh, walking back. <laughs> in fact, I. Uh, I, I will do like the, the comedic. You know, like, Comedically walk out. I, I, I will, <laughs> I will, like, next talk in I will do. I will do the cartoon thing of like barging through a door, and then I will do like basically like a reverse of the yeah, clip. Immediately like, walks out and closes the door. Is that what you do? Yeah. Okay. I will do that. Oh. So. What you can go ahead and move yourself out of the door there. I can because people out. Yeah. Yeah. I will now. And you shut the door? <laughs> cartoon blue say shut the door. Like, so what yeah, do you I see? Will, I will shut the door. Oops, oh, did I just delete Bayleth? Oh, my bad. Let me un oh, no. oh, I'm deleting everybody. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I was just going to redo this. 
One of those bandits <laughs> like a fucking <laughs> attack. They just wipes you from the, <laughs> the window. The and they got us I would the like to inform everybody else that there is a bunch of armed fucks inside that oh. uh, seem to be willing to fight. And you okay. ran away. Um, are you just are you only using your movement to get out the door, or you have 30 feet in each of these squares room? represents five? So. Um, <laughs> Well, I will like not be at the. And try not, try not to move your tokens outside of on your turn at this point yeah. because, yeah. Um, yeah, you're positioned where you are until your turn. I, so I'll be like roughly here behind everybody else because I am <laughs> hide. Okay. Uh, yeah. Next up is Kohog. Okay, I am going to, under the assumption that those guys are about to come out, move to, l l let's call it here. Okay. Uh. And draw my rapier and just have that as the only thing in my hand. Awesome. Um, um, another thing I don't think I mentioned yet, you can, as your action, um, do what's called readying an action. So you'll state a condition like, uh, I'll wait for the bandits to open the door. And then upon that happening, you can um, do whatever you want to. So if that's take an attack or move or whatever you want. So if that's what you'd like to do, you can ready your attack um, in that, I would in that love manner. I love to ready my attack right now. <laughs> All right, perfect. So yeah, uh, if that ends Sweet. your turn, then Alaria, you're up next. Okay. Uh, if I in my position, I'm just stated right behind it. Then uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> can I like move this, like this way and then like draw my short bow? Yep. If you'd like to ready an door. action as well, you can do that. Yeah. Just aim it towards the door. Cool. Water for me. Um, so, is there anything else you'd like to do on your turn there? Or is uh, that no, it? No, I think that's good, I think that's good. Alright, Baylith, what are you doing? Alright, I'm gonna get ready to attack. Oh, I'll take my, what do I have? Um, Great Axe. I'll pull the Great Axe out. Awesome. And then, and then just hold an attack there? Can I just, can I yeah, just you can, you can still use your movement, if you'd like. Ooh, um, the stand up sl Actually, no, I have a great axe. I'm gonna stay where I am. Comedically stand spot. next to the door. And <laughs> I'm gonna stand like, actually, no, yeah. I'm gonna stand like in the back of the door. Surprise them. Okay. Right there. Is there, is there a window good. right here? Do they see uh, me? No, not, not right there. It, okay. there. There is a window, but it is shuttered and they can't see you. Okay. Alright, I'll be right there. Um, Alright, so that's Bailiff. Aira, what are you doing? Uh, wait, wait, does the door open? Does it open like this way or this way? Uh, out. Okay. It opens out. Is it like double doors? Well, yeah, I'm saying which way, like to the right or to the left? Like which way is the, like you see where my cursor is going out? Would it oh, swing to, like this way? Yeah, that way. So this is the hinge. Okay, okay I... dope. Okay. Um... Sorry, am I in the door's range? I'll say you can you can position <laughs> yourself in a way that uh, yeah, I, I'd like you to would. do that. Yeah, yeah. No, I think it'd actually be funny if Koha got hit by the door. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it will be if, fun. if they do, it's not in a way that will prevent them from attacking. <laughs> okay, okay. Cool. That's fine. Well, I guess because everyone's ready up, I'm going to pull out my small hammer. Okay. Um, I'm going to walk. Oh, I can't grab my thing. Uh, one, two, three, so that's 15. Um, pretend like I'm, I want to pretend because I'm shorter than Bailith, that I'm like standing beneath her knees like right. so crawled under there <laughs> okay. and I've aimed... break their kneecaps. I yeah i have i have legs. the hammer aimed to where their kneecaps supposedly should be and that's Double attack. i see you all right yes 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 all right. Right. Oh, see, or i could get on top of your shoulders and bonk them over i'm the head down if they're also my shoulder okay <laughs> perfect awesome I'm pretty cool too, so they're probably Aim the hammer is down okay. like whack-a-mole okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right so era that's your turn um yeah. <laughs> a moment goes by where it's just you're all just kind of sitting there waiting mm -hmm. and another moment goes by are you not coming out not at the moment it seems uh, everyone go ahead and make um, make a stealth check I'll say okay uh, do we all do it or just one person um, everyone can do it okay Oh, I guess uh, I already I, pulled my up, so it doesn't matter the okay, order. I'm just everyone, everyone can go ahead and roll. I'm going, going. I got a nine plus. We're still a two, so I got eleven. Alright, I'll go next. Oh, sorry, I already pulled one up. I got a nine plus two. That's eleven. Alright, let's see. 
You guys are twice the size of a normal person. Yeah. <laughs> five plus five, so it's a ten. No, little Valpai boys. Watashi. Oh god. I, I, I kid you not. I rolled at the same time and got a twenty. <laughs> I, I, did, I did see it. I did see I, it, did it before. That did yeah. I saw Wolfie. Yeah. I, didn't see I it. got. Oh, Wolfie got twenty. I got six plus two. Yeah, I have eight. a twenty plus six. I got eight. That feels bad. Nice. Uh, does anyone have passive perception above uh, fourteen? That's no. Ten I only have our... Yeah, I have thirteen. 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 Okay. Um, so as you're all sitting there, mostly quietly, um, you hear from the west side, it sounds like there's sh shutters opening, like the sound of a window being broken open. Fuck's sake. Completely fucked it, guys. Absolutely. Okay. We, yeah. we fucked it. Oh. Pipe, okay. this is your fault. All right. um, Do we know what side that it's opening from again? Like... The, on the left side of this of this thing. Okay. Okay. Um, is anyone doing uh, anything in that moment? Yeah. Can I like? Uh, what's uh? What's the speed per square ratio? Uh, a square is five feet, and your speed is probably thirty feet. Okay. Okay. Can All I right. like move over here with my bow yeah. drawn? So as you move over there, you notice there is a bandit <laughs> trying to sneak out of the window here. And uh, I'll say this is considered your turn again. So uh, if you'd like to take an attack or whatever you'd like to do. Well, you do have your bow drawn. Yeah. It's up to you. What are you going to do? Right, or Illyrian. Um, uh, so he's going to shoot at one of the ones leaving towards the lake. OK, go ahead and make an attack roll. Would that be the right die, Wolfie? Yeah, so attack roll is d20 plus your attack bonus. Um, huh. so what, did, what did you get? I have a damage type that has like 1d8, for example. But... For damage, yeah. The way it works is you'll roll the d20 oh. plus your oh, okay. attack bonus to see what you right. what you get. That's against their yeah, armor class. Fine. And if you roll higher or equal to that, then you can roll your damage with whatever dice it says. Okay. okay. So what did you roll? I have, a, I have a plus six on my attack bonus. So what was the total on your attack? Eleven. Okay. As you're trying to aim for the leg, you're just a little bit too low and it hits the snow right in front of their foot. Yeah. Um, I have a question. Is opening the door back up like an action that like takes your turn? Um, I, th I think interacting with objects is considered a free action so you can do that without expending your action or anything all right if you'd in like that case to. i would reopen i would like to reopen the doors okay okay and hit kohog in the process oh. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of bonks off of them but it doesn't do any damage or anything uh as you reopen the door um oh, there, there, there are several bandits oh. there um well in that case two stairs on thomas maple this is oh. maple. Maple. yeah this is muggy d yeah, Maple. Boo, boo, boo. Uh, hi, I'm glad to see you. But now is absolutely not the time. Um, you can you can stay in the Unless you want to listen. You can tell. Yeah. Just tell. Listen. I was curious what was. Fine. Okay. All right. Anyway, if it's time to do so, everyone with readied attacks who are standing there, you can go ahead and do that. So beginning with um, Pipe, you had one. Uh, well, I didn't ready attack, but it is still my. Oh, that's right. You well. Yeah, because you're at the top of the initiative right now. And oh, everything yeah, had kind of reset amazing. in those in those moments outside of Ilaria kind of restarting the, the combat there. Right. So and starting now from the like, top, pipe it's up. You're the, up. The, the, the first guy, like the, the, the this guy, this guy. The, the one labeled like two. two? Yeah, two. I would okay. like to uh, Eldritch Blast him into the face. All right, so Eldritch Blast should be uh, uh, attack roll, so go ahead and do that. Damn, you guys are not rolling too well on this. Yeah. He's right, not uh, blasted. Four plus five, so I guess he's not getting blasted. Yeah, it kind of whizzes past his ear back into the corner of the room. Okay. Um, All right. Cool. Do you want to move or anything? Or? Now I'll stay behind the vanguard. <laughs> They're all going to kill you. Right. Well, you open the door. How would you <laughs> go there and move back? 
back. Well, I open you open the door. door. Yeah, you can. Wait. If you'd like to step back, you may. Yeah. No. I'll step. Well, I'll stay behind this guy. Okay. Is and then the next? everyone who had readied their attacks just kind of all goes at once. So we'll start with Kohog because I believe you okay. were the first one to do that. Okay. Nine with my attack bonus on my rapier of mm -hmm. five. All right, so that that hits. Is this against number two there? Um. Yes. Yes. All right. Uh, so, I assume... so fourteen hits. You can go ahead and roll your damage then. Okay. Um. So I've got one d eight. Uh. Plus three pierce. Okay. So one d eight. That's a six. So I. Uh, okay. Uh. The damage then the type plus three pierce, and then I've also got a fucking trait, if I'm wielding a melee weapon in one hand and other weapons, I gain a two plus damage bonus, so is that doing 11 damage? Is that correct then? Sorry, could you repeat, could you repeat that thing that you said? Uh, so my, my damage type is 1d8 plus 3 pierce. Okay. And then I've got a trait in which if I'm wielding a one-handed melee weapon and nothing else, I gain a plus 2 bonus to damage rolls with that weapon. Okay, yeah, that would be this. Okay, So then, sweet. what was the total 11. on your damage? 11? Yeah. In in one strike with your rapier, you just fucking kill this guy. <laughs> Holy Murder. shit, let's go! Oh, he's dead. <laughs> he's dead. First blood spill. Yeah, right after you've missed your fucking shit pipe. Pathetic. <laughs> one hit Are you in the you in the door? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. It is, <laughs> it, it right. is Bailith next. Bailith, you're next. Yep. Alright, alright, alright. Let's see. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, shit! Ooh. Oh, so uh, natural uh, 20, that's a critical oh, hit. So the way that works, um, on your damage, you, you roll your dice and then double that, and then add the bonus on top of that without doubling the bonus. So roll whatever damage it says, and then double the dice. That's my weapon, right? With with the weapon that you uh, prepared with, which I believe was right. I don't remember what it was. Great axe. So it's yeah, the great axe. Twelve plus three slash. I think this is a D twelve. Oh, oh my no. god! No. Holy shit! So that's twenty four plus three. You fucking which which one was this? One or four? Uh, uh we got two. Let's go one. He's one. Gone. He is just no longer. Like so recognizably like humanoid, <laughs> you yeah. squish this guy no. into oblivion. <laughs> this turned okay. violent. We're gonna demonetize. <laughs> I look at his friend after and I smile. Yeah. I'll say after that. Go ahead and make yeah, yeah. intimidation check. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see. Oh, I got a four. <laughs> oh, dude, I have plus four to intimidation. So, I mean. so eight total. <laughs> You, f you feel pretty intimidating in the moment. <laughs> Whether or not they are intimidated, is we'll see. <laughs> yeah, that guy, I think I saw his bro, like, ripped apart, and he's like, nah, come here. Two of his friends just died. <laughs> Alright, and then Ira. You also, I have Ira. a lot to live up to, so I'm really are, hoping are you that... Are my shoulders? I, like, I would assume so, yeah. I, think, I, <laughs> I, I, uh, I hope you roll a 20 and just, like, turn them into a pancake. <laughs> well, it's a small hammer. So. Oh, oh my, my god! god. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I, I and I, so. I had just said you guys were rolling bad. That's so funny. <laughs> okay, so we see. Okay, so only four, I guess, because of the small hammer. Okay. Four, so I double that to eight. Eight plus. plus. Three. So it's three is eleven. All right, you kill this guy. Bando, up right now. Critical brain damage. Jesus <laughs> Christ. The small so clearly, this is just wow. a sign that Melee is broken. <laughs> yeah, co yeah, harder. All right, so after that, um, um, we were still an initiative after Pipe, so Kohog, you're actually up next. Oh, sweet. Um, I suppose I'll... You know, I, I should hunt down the guy escaping from the window. So that's uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 32. Guess what? 35. Because Holy that's my speed. I've always one of my racial abilities. You're so fast. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'd like to. Well, as it stands, 
I, I don't actually know how much range my whip has, uh, right. much as I am <laughs> desperate to use it. It is considered a melee weapon, so I don't think it fits. 25 feet long whip? That's pretty long. Whips are actually quite long, aren't they? To, to be clear, by the way, I have I have a longbow and a crossbow. So <laughs> but the probably... whip is the preferred um, weapon. So it looks like a whip can reach 10 feet, mechanically. So it would not be well, able to reach this guy. Okay. Uh, may I attack with my crossbow in this very turn? Yes, you can. Okay. Um, oh, fuck. My fucking... My formatting is broken. Okay, whatever. Light crossbow, uh, attack bonus, plus four. Um, it is a 1d8. So, let's let's roll. Let's roll. Um, uh, so you roll, you roll, roll the... the attack first. Yeah, the yeah, d20 20. first, and then... Oh, wait, yeah, you're right. Fuck. Uh, and you're only no, an 8, too. Damn. <laughs> Seven. Seven. Uh, my attack bonus is four, however. So this is doing 11. Um, 11 oh. just misses this guy, unfortunately. Fuck. Oh, I'm an embarrassment. So as you see, no, as you see, Ilaria's arrow kind of in the snow in front of him. Yours kind of lands right next to it. <laughs> I think it's, it's, ideal it's, it's, the, it's the curse of a bad guy. <laughs> it really is the curse of like ranged weapons. Like every ranged <laughs> yeah, attack. Yeah, that's right? true. Yeah. Every melee attack has been like absolutely crazy. I should use right. my long bow. Uh, so Kohag, after your turn, is Ilaria. I'm realizing I should write down my oh. and my darn a crossbow bolt. Um, if you want to keep track, I won't make you keep track of that because it's. Keep Annoying, track, but if you want to, you can. I have so this has, so six six place paces is thirty feet, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um. Am I in melee range? <laughs> yep. Cool. Uh, can I attack with just like a dagger to the throat? Yes, you can. Go ahead and make your attack cool. roll. Seven plus six, thirteen. 13 hits, yep, so roll damage. Uh, at the 6. Which one's 6? This one? <laughs> I can barely see the die. Show me the one that looks like a normal die. 4 dice. plus 4 piercing. 8 piercing? And is that a d6 dagger? Yeah. Yes. Oh, sorry, d4. Okay, yeah, I was going to say, I think. But well, you have one in your Everything. offhand as well, right? Yeah. Okay. So, go ahead and roll the d4 for damage. Four. Four, yeah. Four. So, eight. And then, uh, the way dual wielding works, you can, as a bonus action, make another attack with your offhand if you'd like to. All right, but... Three. <laughs> All right, so you, you stab this guy um, for... It was eight damage, correct? Yes. All right. Um, he's... Bloodied and hurt, but he's not quite dead. And as you try to swing to finish him off with your other dagger, he's still standing as he dodges out of the way. Um, <laughs> and I believe that is the end of your turn. All right. Um, next up is uh, the bandit number five. Finally, for the first time, one of these fucking bandits <laughs> is going to be able to do something. Um, he is going to move a little bit here to get line of sight on loud metal pipe noise and uh, it's going to make a light crossbow attack against you uh does a 17 hit 17 dead hits all right and then you take um seven piercing damage damn this guy's crazy and then he will kind of try to duck back a little bit this way and end his turn. And then, Baylith, you're up next. Oh. I don't know, how much HP do you have now? Great, this guy is crazy. Holy shit. Hey, <laughs> you guys were rolling like 25 earlier, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, I just got hit for 17 on the hit and then like a maximum damage roll. So I wasn't you took the healing max. potions, didn't you? Maybe it's time to use one? Yeah. Uh, that's, for, that's, for, that's our scrubs. We don't do that. Um, so, Baylith, it, it's your turn at this point. Yeah. Alright, I think I want to... I think I'm going to go inside and just ready myself here. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty also, confident here. Yeah. yeah. Don't, don't <laughs> jump off your shoulders. So, I I'm have 30 here. movements, so it's like... Here, I can what? actually yeah, change the color so you can actually see this. Okay, okay, okay. So, the... Would I be like right here? Or here? 
Um, Let's see. I'm around here. So it would be like 5, 10, 15, 20. That would be 25, I think. Okay, so, go so if you want to move one here. more. Okay. Yeah, you can do that. Over here. Yeah. And then. I'm still ready, right? My attack, I have my axe out. Yeah, if you'd like to use your action to ready your attack, uh, what are you waiting for to use this? Just if he moves closer? Uh, if he even looks at me funny, yeah, if he moves closer. Okay, so sounds right good. There. So, Bela, if you ready your action there. Uh, Aira, you're up next. Okay. So, I actually want to clarify something. So, one of the species, like, traits is this thing called a rabbit hop where it's it's like as a bonus bonus action you can jump a number of feet equal to five times your proficiency bonus so like does this mean do you think that means like um hopping like just up and down or do you think it means like oh i'll like jump that much yeah so i think that would okay if either way i think if you want to jump forward i think it would be 10 feet uh, you could do that or up so okay I if you would like to jump straight up, then yeah, go for <laughs> just it. Just straight up and down for no reason. Just jump up. <laughs> okay. Um, wait, think. Okay, I guess I'll one, two, three, four, and then uh, I guess just ignore that. And then I guess I'll just hop ten. It lets me hop ten feet because it's five times better. Yep. Yeah, that'll be ten. So I'll hop ten feet over here. And then I have my, uh, I think that was a 25 total, I think. So I think I have two more. Okay. More um, I'll get a little, I'll get like ready. Okay. And I just have my okay. uh, hammer ready. Ready to go? All right, sounds good. Um, so after Ira's turn is the bandit who's engaged with Elyra over here. Um, they are going to take out their scimitar and make an attack against Delira. Uh, that is a 16 to hit. Okay, yeah. Might be bad just be rolled. And you take 6 damage. Oh. Okay. It's a max roll as well. It is. <laughs> and that ends their turn. Uh, back to the top of the round. Loud metal pipe noise. You're up. If I think I get hit again by a cross football, that would suck. You have potions, Bonzo. <laughs> how, much is, how much has a potion heal? Um, I believe... Let me double check. Potion of healing, 2d4 plus 2. And I, I've i clarified before, drinking a potion will be a bonus action. Unless you want to use an action, in which case it will, um, on an action, recover maximum hit points. All right. Um... I have a question. Does our pal does our paladin have any healing stuff? Uh, you don't really know. <laughs> Damn, I should have asked <laughs> for it. <laughs> that case, well, it sucks for the potion, but I am going to drink the potion as a bonus action and walk here and Eldritch Blast the guy. All right. So as you drink the potion, go ahead and roll your two d four plus two. A d four. And another d four. You're also supposed to hit. It's a much? six. So and six plus two, so you recover eight, and then mark off one of those potions. Back at full health. Nice. Uh, and then the, instead of two potions, it's now uh, one potion. I it's a it good thing potion. you stole both potions, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Come play all you it. want. All right, now it's time to Eldritch Blast the guy. Nice. Uh, which means I have to roll a d20 for attack. Hey, better not miss. All right, that's it. 12 plus 5. Okay, that hits, yep. Hit. Alright, and then uh, Elder Class is 1d10, right? Yep. Does magic get, like, any bonuses? Um, not or right now. I think or Warlocks or have abilities where later on you can add charisma to it, but not at this ten. point. It's the one that has a 10 on it. There's nothing but a 10 on it. Um, the one that has a There's 0 on it. <laughs> That's a five. Five damage, okay. And this is bandit number five. Alright. So you hit that guy. Uh, is that end your turn? Um, wait, I walk like from here to here, which is uh, 15. Then I'll just walk back. Alright, sounds good. Uh, Kohog, you're up next. Okay. Um, I would like to move 
one, two, three. That's fifteen feet total. Okay. Um, I'm now going to make an attack with my whip. All so right. Ten feet of range, of course. Mm -hmm. Um, so I roll the d20 first. I'm not going to get that wrong this time. Nice. Um, seventeen. Yeah. Who even cares about my bonus? That that hits. Yep. Um, and then whip is one d4. Uh, plus three slash. Let's roll my my d4. Two. Uh, plus three slash. So we're now at five, and then I still have that bonus. So so seven damage with my whip has been dealt. All right, mm. you whip this guy to death. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> you. It's it's, it's Let's my king. Go. <laughs> and the guy was like almost half dead, but. <laughs> hey, he got whipped so he, to death. He shattered the window, by the way. Yeah. Uh, it's well. Window open. It was opened from the inside. Okay, then I'm going to to three, four is twenty. Yeah, okay. I'm now inside the house, and that's within my five five feet total movement. Sweet, that's my turn. Nice. All right, sounds good. Um, as that happens, he the the remaining bandit throws down his weapon and says, stop, stop, wait. Um, and as that happens, Elaria, it's your turn. What are you doing? Uh, can I go through the window? Hold on. Yeah, you can get the, yeah. through there easy yeah, enough. I'm there. I think that's 30. He's uh, so I'm at, at least in range of the paladin uh, while I'm bleeding. Uh, and Don't then, worry, I'll help you my turn. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then uh, I kind of like ready um ready my bow while staring him down but i don't i don't shoot <laughs> okay sounds good um so after Alaria is this bandit's turn and he's on his turn he's just gonna say oh st uh, uh, i'll give you whatever you want stop i'll uh, i'll give you answers i'll give you whatever you need uh please don't kill me please and that's all he does on his turn um so after that i'll say is there anything anyone wants to do um before it's this guy's turn next I guess we should like probably you know, not kill him for information purposes for now. Yeah, I mean that seems like a like an almost we, case... can, we can stop combat type right. situation. We can rob him after. Yeah, if you'd like to end combat, we can do that right there. Right, we um, can end combat. Do they want a rope? Just I have a whip. Most people, <laughs> I think, I think rope comes in most of the like, yeah, like, starter packs. So right. yeah, get him, Wolfie. Yeah. Make okay. sure that, that make sure that he can move an inch. I just like slowly walk over, you know, uh, kind of uh, unsteady on my feet. Okay. But uh, I, you know, grab my rope from my pack and sort of, you know, tie up his wrists and, you know, make sure I he can't. You're, you're, like, you're not doing like the cartoon one where you wrap them around the torso with their arms <laughs> stuck. <laughs> <laughs> like, train it's track. Fine. All right. So yeah. from all the like porn where they're, you know. Yeah. The porn one. <laughs> so true. All right, yeah, you go right. ahead and tie this guy up. Easy enough for you to do. He's not really resisting or anything. Oh, well, I'm so. Please, uh, I'll give you what you want. What? I'm so. Uh, and he's just kind of scared out of his shit right now. All right. <laughs> well, before we, we ask questions, like, go and loot the other guys. Well, no, we can do that after. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, who has the best persuasion? Wait, can I, I heal like Laria? Five, uh, yeah. yeah. What do you use to heal him? I or have, her? So Sorry. At first level, I have um, Cure Wounds, so that's a 1d8 plus spellcasting modifier. So, um, that's a 3, and then I think my modifier is a 4. Yo. Um, do you get seven. do you get spells at level at level one? I'm pretty sure I looked up spe paladin spells level one. I'm not sure because oathbreakers usually start at like third level. Right. So, well, so the thing about paladin. spell casting, uh, there's a difference between uh, spell level and character level. So I think cure wounds is a first right. level spell that paladins get, but I don't think they get ac access to spell casting until level two. Uh, you should have your Lay on Hands ability, though, which also heals. You're right. You get that second one. Okay, Lay on Hands. Hold on. Can I ask a game balance question? Mm-hmm. 
If you're off level, is there any reason you can't just keep doing healing spells outside of combat? Yeah, so yeah. the way spells work, um, each time you cast one, you expend a spell slot, and you only have a certain amount of those per level of spell. Oh, okay. So, for example, but... if you have three first level spell slots, you can cast uh, three first level spells until your next long rest. Okay, okay, that's fine. That answers the question sufficiently. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. I think at first level, lay on hands, you have a pool of five hit points that you can distribute. Um, you can heal for um, five and one, or you can heal one five times. It's up to you how you want to distribute those. One five for one. Maybe Wolfie got Shang just... for six, so just like, go ahead and do four. Yeah, I'll just, just fully heal then. Okay. There's all my healing on there. Sounds good. So just, yeah, mark off those five lay on hands. And then, right. Alara, you can mark your healing there. All right. Cool. I have both Persuasion and Intimidation at 5, so... Do we even need those, I considering he's already said he'll tell us everything, by the way? Hey, who's not moving me? Alright, so what are, what are you doing? I'm moving myself. I don't know why you're moving. What are you saying? <laughs> hmm? No, I was just I was trying to make it make her. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> <Right>. Okay. <laughs> In this case, I would like to intimidate the guy. I would, I would like to take out the sickle okay. and intimidate the guy. And tell him, yeah. Uh, the, the question I would like to ask him is, who is he working for? What were the, these guys doing here? Uh, yeah, so let's start with those two. Okay, we, we, we work for a lady named Hulil, uh, Hulil Lutan. Uh, she's, she's a dwarf. Uh, she's a priestess of Loth. Um, she she works for a family out of uh, the city of Disari. I don't know the specifics of that. Um, and as as this this bandit says that, you recognize the name Lutan is the same as uh, Tulgi, who you had heard about earlier. She had also been inflicted with uh, the same sickness that had hit Urgon, the guy who died. It's quite sus. Um, and and they continue they continue. Oh, we we. I know that Tulgi had robbed this place a few months ago, um, but Hulil, our boss, got sick. Um, they got cursed. I don't know what's happening, but she's been real slow lately, and she ordered us to, to come here and see if we can to, to find anything to help out. We, we haven't found anything, though. We don't know what we're doing. Do you guys believe it? Well, addressing the party, do you believe this guy? Well, we can do a roll. He always rolled it, you know. Roll yeah, if, if you'd like to, lying. if you'd like to see if he's lying, uh, you can make an insight check. Yeah, right, who has good insight? Oh, What's this it? is your, I can tell from the look in his eyes that he's telling the truth. Your favorite thing, Bandit. I, I can <laughs> use to do the roll. Well, yeah. I mean, I got the two in inside, so if anyone... I'll say, I'll say yeah, since you're kind of taking the lead on this, you and one other person can go ahead and do insight. All right, let's play, okay, let me start then. I got a plus two in inside. Let's roll the d20. Two again. I have a three. Does anyone else have more? I only have one. No. Okay, I'll, I'll do it. That's... Ooh, that's a... Tw that's a... D21. Yeah, that's a... Uh, with a 21, you can see the shit trickling down his pants, and you... He's... He will... T he, you are confident he will tell you the truth in this situation. <laughs> okay. Okay. You can like smell the urine and everything. <laughs> awesome. Can, can I like, ask for something? Right, well, if you address the people in character. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I walk over and like push down the sickle that you're holding. And it's like, he's telling the truth, guys. Let's hear him out and, you know, make it make it easy. All right, you know, all as right. it stands, Mr. Bandit Man, huh? we're actually investigating the same thing that you are. Uh -huh. We've. <laughs> Don't, don't cry now, dude. <laughs> no, oh, sorry. I thought I thought Tegan was like yawning. I like the idea of him yawning. Yeah. Like, okay. <laughs> like, just tired. <laughs> oh, please, though. No. Dude, it's fine. We already crossed your friend's skulls. I like, know. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Don't be such a crybaby about it. Uh, <laughs> uh, Look. My best Look. friends are dead. <laughs> 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 can i ask like uh were they the ones that uh ransacked this place two months ago we, yeah we were yeah we we, we were desperate we got to find a, a cure for hulil we don't know what's going on we don't know what this thing is hmm. Hmm. i think this guy's kind of sussy he's changing his accent it's uh yeah 
<laughs> no, the DM just isn't very good at doing voices. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, guys, it seems like he has about the same information that we do, only we're investigating it for different people. Who has mm. the paper with the receipt? That was just, just, so it wasn't it? I don't remember if I, I specified, so whoever wants it can have it. I mean, I picked it up, so I guess it's mine. Okay, yeah, you can have it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, we know that. Is, is there a reason that yeah, you right. want to uh, I, mean, I, mean, I wanted to see if the bandits found uh, any of the items listed on there. Yeah, see if they were important. <laughs> oh, I'll come over, I'll come over here. Um, I'm holding up the thing. I am, I like to imagine him. Should I do like an intimidation? I don't really need to do that. I'll just like hold it up and point to it and very aggressively like meep, 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 meep. <laughs> Oh well, I'm doing it. Is that what you say? <laughs> or do you actually say uh, in words? I would, I, would, I, would, I, would, I, would, I would say, I would say that's just like the vibe it sounds like, but I'm, you know, he can understand that there's words coming out that are just like, they're just like, do you recognize this? Do you recognize this? Huh? Huh? Uh, like that. Yeah, yeah, I do. I do. That's, we got most of those items. Um, I think Hulil has them back in our in our in our cave on the on the outskirts, the Croker Cave they call it. Oh, that's good Croker information. Cave. Hmm. I think that it's probably where we want to go. Guys, I mean, we've got him tied up anyway. I say we take him as hostage. So what do we do with him? No, uh, uh, I would I would, I would, I would, I would like, to address, I would like to address Kohawk saying. Uh, this guy is clearly like a whip that nobody cares about, so like he's not a worthwhile hostage. Yeah, but I mean, there's an off chance that like, nah, ma nah maybe he's... fucking Halil doesn't give a shit about this dude. But the other like, if they've got other bandits guarding them, then they All might I... also be friends. This this is a, I there's no use in killing our hostages, Pike. I don't think this guy is worth a damn. Wait, can I ask fucking a kill him. Do it. Put him to the sword then. All right, not yet. Case, not yet. All right, all right. Let, 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 let's hold up. Let's let, let everyone else do their thing first. Oh, yeah. Let me ask the student a question. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you mentioned Lolth, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, what do you know about her? Like, is she around the area, or? No, I don't know. I I don't know anything about the gods. You'd have to ask Khalil about that. I don't. I'm not religious. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna ask that guy. All right. I'm done. So I got what I needed. All right. Anything okay, else? Do you have anything guy? more for us? I, I don't. I I can give you any everything I've got. Uh, and he holds out. Um, he motions toward his scimitar and his crossbow on the ground that he dropped earlier. And then he kind of reaches in his pockets and pulls out four gold pieces. Oh, that's Ooh. nice. Ooh. I will snatch those right out of his hand. Okay. The gold. Yeah. Okay. Um. Right. Uh. I kind of want to take the scimitar, but I already feel fine with my two weapons. Um, likewise for crossbow. What I don't know what weapons. What is a scimitar? <laughs> it's or like a curved is... sword, Zoe. Oh, yeah. okay. Um, no, I like my bludgeoning stuff, so I'll keep my... Scimitar is like a finesse weapon anyway, so it's not your type of thing, Zoe. And at this point, hey, Ira, you don't have yourself? your big hammer on you right now, do you? I don't, I don't, that's why I've been using small hammer. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Zoe, um, I have a question. Every time I like look at the weapons page, you said small characters are just like, they just can't use heavy weapons well. Well, that, like, listen, who cares? for your build? No, no who that cares? doesn't matter. Yeah. It's, 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 I believe it's, mechanically, she, she is medium. Okay. Mm, oh, In terms oh, of mechanics. Oh. There's, look, All basically right. anything to make oh. it so she can be little girl big hammer. I agree, I agree. Yeah. True. We're not gonna... Right. We're gonna break the rules a little bit so it can be more fun. I mean, we've already broken the Kenku lore, and so, like, you know. Uh, actually, that is true, in my lore. It's in my backstory that explains that, so no. Not the broken lore. Okay. Oh, okay. okay, sorry. Well, then, my backstory is that she's just really fucking strong, so she can easily carry like a big it. hammer. Like Fair enough. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> and my backstory right. is that I'm an invincible dragon that can't lose to anyone. That, 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 that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> right, anyway, um, I, I would like to once again address her party and ask if they have any more business with this person. I mean, I still want to take him as hostage. It sounds like you're more interested in gutting him like a fish. I say well, I, did, him well, you want. I will address co op with the very simple notion that this guy just like bolted through my chest and it like hurt very bad. So, oh I would, my like, god, that's hey. yesterday's news, bro. You already got healed. Are you like saying that in like 
character. Mode. I feel like you're being yeah. very toxic right now. He that got healed. Did our paladin heal you? Yeah. No, Bando had a potion. No, in character. <laughs> no, like so, I had a potion. I'm fine. Yeah, now. the fucking. Fatter you already guys. used one of the potions that was given to us. Well, I'm. Yeah, he took both of them, and then has already used one of them, without asking any of the rest of us. Well, first up, I will say, the Paladin can heal only that much, and... uh, Also, I would like to ask the question, well, would you think twice about drinking a potion when you have a giant bowl through your chest? It wasn't even that big a bowl, man. I think you're making a big deal out of nothing. This guy is being, like, the most toxic person I've ever You're just mad, because you've been her, and I haven't. I Sorry, okay, you we'll didn't kill like, anybody, I, and I like slice up his goddamn eyes out. I didn't character to just be the sarcastic Josh. How about this, guys? How about instead of just- we don't have to kill him, we can just take him back with us if we're gonna go to this girl's place. That's what I, I'm saying! Is there a don't kill me, please. <laughs> exactly! Right, like, there, case, he's begging for me! Right, in that case, I, I have one suggestion to the party. Because, you know, I'm an entertainer, so I think giving him a chance of life is the best way to do this. Oh. Um, I'll do anything I you will, want. I will stand 30 yeah. feet back and shoot at him with a crossbow, <laughs> so just like he did with me. And if he survives, that's, uh, he can go. You know what? That's badass. I'm in. Do whatever you want. <laughs> Alright. I'm, I'm still in. That's, that's... What the fuck? I'm trying to move my guy anyway. There we go. That's 10, 20, 30. Alright, right. everyone get out of the way. Alright, then, then uh, D20 for hitting. Yep. yep. Oh, oh my no. god. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, roll your damage. Uh, roll the dice, then double it, and then add your modifier. One second, I forgot, I forgot to... Wait, I need to look up what the crossbows damage is again. I didn't try it down. <laughs> Wait, right, I have a crossbow. Light crossbow is 1d8, so I roll 1d8 twice. Uh, no, you just you, double it. You, just double the. Just double whatever you got. Some people do it either way. Um, I I think it's easier just okay, to double just, the dice. I roll, okay, seven times two, and then uh, I have simple weapon Four proficiency. So this would be like a plus two as well, right? Um, what what's the modifier on that? Oh, you didn't write it down. Um, well, it'll, it'll be your it'll be your dexterity uh, modifier. Okay, dexterity modifier is. Uh, Three, and then uh, I have proficiency with simple weapons, so that's like a two. Proficiency isn't added to damage rolls. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. okay. So it's uh, seven times two plus three. So seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah. All uh, right. Um, so you, as you shoot this guy, it goes right through the center of his neck, um, and somehow oh, no. his head comes off in the shot. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh, and you killed his last guy. You but, Aaron, but maybe Aaron shouldn't have sent right next to the guy that was got beheaded by a crossbow. What? No, that's well. No, she just I. Uh, well, I thought you were like jittery yeah. about it. <laughs> well, I just was, I, well a little bit, but I would just say like, you know, she's she's a neutral good character, so I assume you know she's still and like. Cross- yeah, oh, I don't want people cross- to die. Well spent. <laughs> Well, you uh, still yeah. use the boys, but yeah. I think that would have been a valuable hostage. But honestly, yeah, that was so fucking cool that I'll let you off. Get on you for this one, birdhead or whatever. <laughs> I just, I just don't like you. Um, yeah. I'll make this whether I was good or bad. Can I have uh, Lyria gather the arrows that were taught earlier? Yeah, sure. That's easy enough to do. There's yeah. quite a few corpses that we can just start looting there. Yeah, um, I would like to loot the... Uh, yeah. There's like two dead corpse the guy out here. There are five bandits that we killed. Yeah, there's um, one here. Well, there's one like... Oh, wait. Where's the pointer? There was one like here. I'm still in the arrow. We killed two like right at the entrance, oh, right? Because yeah, it was like... Yeah. yeah. There's one here. There's two one. here. There's one here. Oh, actually, all three, there's three here, right? One of five bandits. I think so, yeah, because I think I think I think Koha killed one, Bailiff killed one, and then Eric killed one. Yeah, this is where they were. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> I, I killed two, killed by the one. way. I'm going over so here. I'm I think yeah. number one. I had the She's most like, kills out of anyone. Okay, so it's everyone's looting. Well, I guess I'm not, but everyone else is. I, I don't feel That's the fine. need to either. Era, what's up? Just. <laughs> 
Well, I'm looting them. I'm a cow that All right. Each of them has a scimitar and a light crossbow. And then I'll say among the four that are remaining, you can find um, 15 gold pieces. Ooh. I'll take you some of those, you. considering I paid for all the fucking... Well, you're, you're, you're far away, and you, we are not telling you that you picked up gold from them. Go <laughs> up, oh, perception check, or something, or insight, or whatever. <laughs> Investigation to see if... <laughs> all I'm saying is that he's getting, like, 60 feet away, so that should be, like, a... Well, over here! Yeah, is, it like, is it, like, four gold per body? Roughly. All I'm saying is that after DM information was given, Josh suddenly changed what his character was doing. It's not how it works. Oh my I mean, god, we're you in the face looting. of the game where I just... Yeah, uh, you, fine, Josh okay, whatever. Fine, I'm not looting, it's fine. <laughs> uh, do the crossbow users have any arrows on them? Uh, they have bolts. They don't have any arrows. Okay. Yeah, dumbass. Have any bolts? Well, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Moron. Do they each how have crossbow? How many bolts are in total? Yeah, they each have a crossbow and some bolts and a scimitar. A light nice. crossbow. I would like to take the gold from those three guys. Okay. Um, you find... That. 11 between the three of those. More? Okay, so 11 more. I'd like to also take one of the bolts. Okay, you have one bolt. Nice. <laughs> I'm gonna walk back up to Kohog and hand him the bolt that was fired earlier. Because I can't use oh. it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right. Anyone else doing anything in here? To the rest. I feel like that's. I suppose that's our loot and gun. Um. Looking up the guys. Now we have to loot the place. Yeah, it's true. I, we got I, a little bit distracted by our um mass I murder. Much more of which I got here. the most kills, by the way. But maybe no, we, we should know. actually. We never know. No, we do actually. But this the is confirmed. Did say there was nothing here. Well, well, we should still check. Like maybe they're just that. You know, maybe their investigation checks were like once. <laughs> That's true, actually. Those guys were fucking plebs. I whipped one of them to death. Like, come on, these guys are. Yeah, anyone who wants to investigate, you can go ahead and. Uh, I want to work. investigate. All right, yeah. Can we all just do investigation checks in like different corners of the room? All right, I'll go yeah, I will do one here. Go. I don't even know what's going on over here. Whatever this stuff is. I'm curious about this, uh. This bit that's still kind of off hey. of the back. Hey, that's... That, 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 that's fail RP, Josh. You don't know about that. <laughs> I mean, like the house there is a door a off earlier, on the other. There we... is a door on this wall. All right, yeah. Okay. Well, first you would loot for this room. I will do an investigation roll. So okay. Roll. Eleven plus. Wait, how was my investigation? Ah, uh, zero. So it's an eleven. Just eleven. The, yeah. There's a bunch of broken shelves and barrels and stuff. You don't really find anything notable. So unfortunate. Can I open the door? Uh, yeah. Uh, so Alaria, you don't find anything really. Uh, Kohog, you go ahead and open the door. Uh... So back here, it's, um, you notice the first thing that you see, um, in the bed, there is what appears to be an ice statue of an elf, kind of bundled beneath the blankets of the sped, um, along this wall. There's a that small table well with some slightest. dirty teacups and a kettle sitting next to the bed. I see an instrument, by the way. Yep, there's a loot on the ground over there. Hmm. Guys, I think we should, uh, you know, maybe gather in this room for a minute. There's something a little uh, suspect. Do you, do you want to call out in RP, like, hey, guys, come over here? <laughs> But I think you should assume that if I'm saying something that sounds like I would say in RP, <laughs> that I am saying it in RP. I never know. Um, like, it's really hard to tell because your character being a smug asshole and you being a smug asshole is the same thing. Damn. Yeah, well, cut harder, asshole. Um, damn this guy. <laughs> you're not like the damn this guy me after what you've been like this whole time. Um, what you always talk about? You? Just you're like the most negative person ever. Like, Josh like, Brando fall out live on fucking. <laughs> Raja, this guy's insane. I do. Can I sit on your lap? Mudcore drama. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. You sit. You you both sit in the big Chill. chair and you feel very yeah. cool. <laughs> I'm specifically sitting on her lap. Get it. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The first thing I see when entering this room is this chest, so I'd like to open. All right. Uh, there is a lock on it. Uh, you try to open it and it doesn't open. 
Nah, it sucks. Hey, you want to cut thief tools? I would like to Thank address you. the. Yeah, I have I have lock picks. Wait. All right. Uh, in that case, I would uh, like to politely ask the elf to open the chest. Okay. All right. Yeah, if you if you'd like to try, it. go ahead and make. Uh, it would be a thieves' tools check. So I think if you're proficient with that, it would be d20 plus uh, dexterity plus your proficiency. Okay. Is it not okay? So doesn't work well. But what my proficiency is. Uh, it should be two right now. Yeah. And then. Oh, it is the roll something and then two. <laughs> plus two plus your dexterity modifier. Oh, um, six. Uh, so what was the total? Fifteen? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, so after a minute of trying to get this lock open, you feel a click and the lock falls to the ground and uh, you successfully pick this lock. All right, I open the chest. <laughs> All right, you go ahead and open the chest. Inside you find... Um, 14 gold pieces, um, just a couple books inside, um, and just some other personal baubles and trinkets and stuff. Uh, there's like a portrait of what looks like a few a few individuals, um, a notebook. Okay. I think I take five of the gold and I pick up the, no the picture. <laughs> okay. That picture, dude, that's like heartless. Investigation on the, the books. I'd like to see where the books are anything. Go ahead and roll an investigation check. Three. Damn, I'm lucky. Let's <laughs> Three. Uh, roll, roll a d100. Is it, is it, which one is the d100? The last one? The, the last one, yeah. The one that says zero, zero. 78. 78. You find a book called um, Samwell's Guide to Blue Colored Potions. Well, I was really hoping you were going to say Tusk Oh, it's I know, I want to see Tusk Gloves! But I personally am not... I, I would like to pick up the book, and then, because I'm not interested in alchemy, just toss it in the room. Okay. After, like, seeing the title. Can I examine the picture, and if it's anyone we we uh, we know? Um, looking at this picture... Oh, no. Um, it doesn't look familiar at first. You look at the picture, you glance over at the bed. It looks like one of the figures on there is uh, whoever this ice statue is, just a, a I did bit not younger. Notice her the person, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it, it's a family portrait, likely of, of, of some kind. Can Can I look at what this food is and how if it looks edible or not? Um, there's some like old bread, uh, some meats. It's likely probably not edible at this point. Mm. Damn. Go on, Eric. Okay. Take a bite. Mm, do you dare happens. me? You can do a persuasion check to see if you can persuade <laughs> me. Can I persuade you? Persuasion check to like double dare you. You have poison check. <laughs> yeah, it's up to you. It's up to you. Uh, I'll do the fucking persuasion check. Okay, okay, do, do, it, do, it, do it. Uh, shit. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Oh no, my zoom is fucked up. D20, 15, and then on persuasion, I, I don't have any mod or, or modifiers, Um, but that's still 15. Um, but Joey's like doing like a. What's like the opposite of persuasion? Like, did the check um, like getting persuaded? I mean, normally that would be like insight, but I guess it's up to Zoe to decide if a 15 is enough mm -hmm. to persuade or if you want to roll against that. It's up to you. Uh, I double dare so you. Come on. That's true. Well, let's see. Let's see if my constitution. Okay. Do, do, you do you think I should just like for constitution to see if I get affected by it or not? Do you eat it? Yeah, uh, I guess I'll take a piece of the bread. You. Not the meat. Not the meat. I'll take a piece of the bread and lunch. All right. The, the moldy bread. Yeah. <laughs> that seems like the less yeah. healthy option. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's a vegetarian. Bread She's not gonna eat meat no matter what. Right, is it moldy? So you eat the bread. You it tastes really bad. Very moldy. Perfect. Definitely stale. Um, almost. But... Uh, go ahead and make a Constitution saving throw. Okay. No, so you die still... if you miss the throw. D20 20 plus that, D20? constitution saving throw, yeah. <laughs> okay. My constant. Oh, I can't. 10? And I have 6 constitutions. So... Plus 6, so 16? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, You feel as if you're about to throw up for a second, but uh, you mm -hmm. hold it back. Mm hmm. Strong. Okay. Her... She's doing like the gun show arm. <laughs> She's like, yes, <laughs> Nearly threw up, fucking flex. 
Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Jesus just sees it as a flex. Yeah, since I'm still at the chest, I'd like to take the rest of the gold and then give it to Biel. Oh, yeah. Okay. Are we just gonna leave the notebook by yeah, the way? Like nobody yeah. well, we're still, we're still, oh, still okay. asked about. I wanna ask what this is. It was 12 gold, right? I took 5. Yeah. Yeah, I would like to give it to the elf saying that uh, that you deserve all of the gold for opening a chest. I will take it, but I don't need handouts. <laughs> Everybody fucking hates Pipe at this point. <laughs> Poor Pipe. Worst character. Aww. I still <laughs> like you, Pipe. Uh, People just don't enjoy fun, eccentric characters can do cool tricks. All they do is, like, racist half. Alright, what's everyone else doing at this point? Okay. Can I see what this book thingy is right here? Whatever this is? Yeah, so next to that chair, there's a, there's kind of a, a a mug of, looks like a little bit of tea in the mug? bottom of it. No. Mug? Oh, mug. Oh, um, can we all do like a pogging check for that one? Oh no, you don't need to check. Everyone pogs. Um, <laughs> wow. Uh, there is a book. Yeah, go ahead and roll a d100, I'll see. We'll see what oh, book okay. this is. Just love, just love. What? No! Oh, I rolled a seven. Seven? <laughs> You can read. You're not illiterate. The book is I called. Read, the book is know. called A Short History of Dwarves. Oh, uh, god, because dwarves are short. That's a, that's a pretty funny one. That's a pretty good one. Also, another racist quote from the racist elf. Actually, yeah. wait, can I just say something really funny to be like, Ira's holding on to the receipt, but she can't read. So she can't even read the receipt. <laughs> I forgot about that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If everyone's still investigating, Alara's gonna grab this instrument off the ground and start playing it while sitting on this dresser. Thing. All right. Uh, no, Banner, can you play for the fire? Are you are you proficient wait, wait, wait. with a lute? Uh, I am proficient with uh, stringed instruments. Okay. Go oh, ahead, make a, a instrument? go ahead, and make a performance check. Okay. It will be very sad if it's like a one. Oh, oh my god! Uh, you go oh, to play the lute, you... and somehow all of the strings break. Damn. Like this is why I play viol. Um, <laughs> yeah. I would like to. I would like to, uh, you know, as an entertainer, I would like to like, uh, what, what's like the English word for this? Just like show that I feel very sad for the elf for for like what just happened. Want to show pity? Is that what you want to do? Want to show pity? Is that what you're trying to do? No, not pity. Pity's like like the bad one. Like, uh, what, yeah. Like, 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 the there's, there's, a really, there's a really good German word for this. We'll and say the I German word. We'll know what you mean. Yeah. By light. Okay, Just, nice. Uh, let, let me see where, what the English word for by light would be. Okay, well, Beta's doing that. Can I look in the books to see if um, a very infamous book known as Tusk World is in here? Because I've, yeah. I've heard Go anything ahead, uh... about it. I want to see if it's in here. Apparently, oh. Tusk Sympathy. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, condolences. Condolences. Oh, oh nice. condolences. That makes All right. sense. Okay. Uh, Aira, go ahead and roll a D100. Um, most of these books oh. in here are just kind of random, um, unmarked well, there books. There might be Tusk Love. There might okay, be Tusk Love. I'm doing D100. <laughs> Wait, no, wait, that's 79. Okay, that's 79. Uh, there's a book in here called uh, The Unlikely Romance of Owls and Bears. Mmm. Like it's not if tough that, love, if, but... If that's uh, something erotic, then I would like to snatch it away from the child. <laughs> no, it's mine. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, it's mine. I'm gonna go take the, the notebook, Megan, is it, the Wait, 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 is it something erotic? Uh, you, like... you kind of... Uh, flipping through the book, it's it seems like kind of a, a comedy story of someone's interpretation oh, yeah. of how okay. owls, owl bears were came to be. Um, definitely nothing like natural or historical or anything like that. Just yeah, what's here? What's like here? This area? Uh, there's there's just like a chest. Um, yeah, like a mirror. No, no this area. Vandal into the okay. yeah. yeah, yeah. Then I would like to check this area, like uh, for what's there. Okay, make investigation. Yeah, I really have gotten an investigation for this. Ah, oh, sixteen. That's good. Um, uh, there's it's nothing. Nothing really sticks yeah. out as anything important. You look very hideous in the mirror, though. Oh, you look pretty cool. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> okay. Well, well, well um, important question. Did Josh say that out loud? Oh, I said that in character. Don't worry. All right. In that case, I would like to uh, go up to the yeah, elders. <laughs> uh, ask him why he is so uh, like so so rude. Uh, I would like to like appeal to the party saying that someone being like this, like like he's he's calling a lot of bad blood in this party for no reason. You want the yes, actual but... answer? <laughs> but yeah, like, yes, uh, no, what, what, yeah. What, 
Well, I mean, like, I'm appealing to the party on one end that, like, you know, like, these sort of, like, attacks are just not a good thing for a party, like, uh, you know, holding people together. And then I would like to ask, you know, the, why are you so, uh, rude? You want the actual answer? But I'm, like, I'm asking you in character right now. Come on. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, answering in character. Well, I, um, but yeah, obviously. Well, sit down, my friend. It's time for a long story of how nobody ever fucking appreciated me. Back I would where like I came to, from. I would like to uh, I, yeah, I, I would like you. To immediately walk out as long as <laughs> the second Actually, no, 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 even better. I would like to, like, the second he starts saying that it's going to take a while, I would like to, uh, oh, no, they're uh, just sitting on the couch already. I would like to lay next to this elf in bed and, like, pretend to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I, okay. I'm, I'm whatever. I'm just going, it's Sorry. okay, Quahog, Pat Pat, we all have our problems. Uh, thanks, Sarah. <laughs> At least I would like to now not listen. be next to this elf anymore. Okay. okay. Yeah. Be, um, can I, because um, Alaria just completely failed to play the flute, I know for one of my packs I can be, so I can be like, I'll make it up. Let me try to play the flute. Are you, are you proficient? See, completely wrong. Do you have a, a flute no. on you? Well, it, you says, it says, yeah, one, one of the packs gives you a flute, but it doesn't say if you can actually play it or not. <laughs> but I think, okay. You know, um, not without flute right. proficiencies, you... Uh, you uh, you can make a performance check with disadvantage, I'll say. What's... I don't so, know what roll, roll the d20 twice and then take the lower of the two. Okay, roll the d20 twice. Mm, two. Okay, yeah. okay. I can't wait to get, like, a two. You can, no, you can, like, roll two at the same time. Okay. 15. Oh, okay, my bad. Alright. Okay, so 15. You... Oh, you, that doesn't count, that doesn't count. <laughs> Uh, you get a sound on the flute, and you can't really play any music, but it, it definitely yeah, yeah. sounds like a flute. She, she's playing some great tunes right now. She's vibing. Alright, now that we have all had our fun, I would like to, like, point at the elf that I just, like, slapped next to him, be like, Oh yeah, they, like, we should probably, like, uh, focus on this. You know, I did try to call attention to that, but he does it too busy, like, playing lutes or whatever. And lock-picking this chest. Hey, can I take the notebook that was in the chest, by the way, that nobody took? Was there a notebook in the chest? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm asking the, the DM not you. Yeah, there was. Alright, then you, uh, just go ahead. Okay, but I'll take the what, notebook. What you, the actual thing you would do is check the chest and then see that there's a notebook in and then... You know, <laughs> no, because the check is already checked. The chest you, is already checked. There's a notebook how inside the chest. Yeah. Anyone, who goes up to the, anyone who goes over by the chest can see the notebook in it. Um, yeah. In that case, I can look at a notebook. Yeah, you, you kind of it. you kind of flip through a notebook. Um, at the first couple pages is what looks to be like the start of a diary, and then as as it goes on, the entries kind of get shorter, and then eventually they stop. I see. I see. This is dog is up, by the way. Mine. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> does not matter. Um. <laughs> okay. Well. That notebook didn't seem to give us any valuable information, insofar as DM didn't call attention to it. So yeah, I, I'm with, I'm with a... I'm sorry, I can't come up with an offensive nickname for Birdman right now. Um, we should talk about this frozen ice elf person. Yeah, I'm gonna walk over there. We should, you're right. We've just been ignoring this guy. But yeah, it was far more important the like, era yeah. played the flute, for example, you know? Um, that was pretty important. It, it's true, it's true. I will say, uh, on the notebook was the name of this person. It said Verla uh, Pelk. Verla, Verla Pelk. Pelk. Oh. Hey, Is Verla wait Pelk a the minute. owner of the, the shop? Yeah, of Pelk's Curiosities. Oh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They are the one that bought all of the stuff from... The, Wharf guy. I can't read the signature. <laughs> um, but, you know, th that's information. Um, presumably, they're the person that's been frozen in ice, considering that was information that we got earlier, I think. Um, mm -hmm. Presumably, they're the person that is frozen in ice, because I just touched them and they were made out of ice and cold. That's also just visually something that's immediately observable, yeah. Um... <laughs> Roll a perception check to see if they're frozen out of ice or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's an ice sculpture with never a human in first place. <laughs> uh, it's nice and stayed alive for a really long time. Um, hmm. 
well, this certainly looks like the problem that we are trying to tackle, gamers and milk mugs or whatever our guild crew was. <laughs> Um, milk I'm still not in favor of milk mugs. I think we should be called. Never like... actually decided. Yeah. Um, Yo, it's good and happy all the time. I'm happy all the time. It's a good song. Yeah. It... <laughs> that happened in the universe, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's, it's a good one. It's good. Good choice. Mm. As a side note, fellas, I think our guild name should be Mug Cord. I... It makes no sense. What is the, what is yeah, a cord? Yeah, yeah. Like, like a piece of rope. Well, like, what does this mean? Kinda, kinda, because we're all like connected, you know. Um, Maybe like we're all like connected uh, by mugs. Can it? Can we like have like divine punishment for fail RP on this one? No. No, ah. this is in character. He's trying to give an in character reason to explain why he should be called mug cord. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a stupid reason. Come on. <laughs> Come on, mug cord. It's perfect for us. Do we even you need a group name? We already did <laughs> two of them. Let's get <laughs> back. Okay, it's fine. We saw what happened. Pers Fucking... Personally, I will just not take suggestions from someone who is like hostile to a lot of the group, always making snarky remarks. I feel like this guy is not, you know, someone who should uh, at all talk about like forging a group of people he visibly hates. I don't hate any of you guys, I just want to be the funny one. The racist one. The, the funny one by way of fantasy there. racism. Don't, don't yeah, gosh, true! Kind of everybody, likes, everybody likes a good bit of edgy humor, come on. If I know you feel like you're on the receiving end funny, most, because that's because you're more you're toxic than the other thing. ones. All I'm saying is, there's an entertainer here, and then there's a racist person here. So, you're not doing well on this. I'm just saying, I'm doing a better job of being the entertainer. I don't know about that. I think the party can decide on this one. Anyway, uh, I'm... what we want to do is regarding this frozen person. <laughs> but let the uh, inform our, yeah, you probably should uh, inform the person. Who's the, the, the fucking... Yeah. The mayor. The, 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 mayor. the mayor. The mayor. Whatever he is. Who knows if anyone is aware that she's dead. Wait, well, yeah, maybe, uh, maybe you should report to the mayor, tell them that uh, you met some bandits, and they're working for this person, apparently, and their hideout's apparently in this cave, and uh, we found the owner of the shop uh, frozen solid here. I think that's probably the best to do. Inform the mayor. That sounds like a worthwhile cause. Shall we? Yeah. Or I, we could I, I... do the heroic thing of immediately rushing to the cave. I... Uh... I... I'd rather mayor. get our party members back. <laughs> Before we go too far. Uh, <laughs> so, unfortunate. Sound uh, like the mayor at least needs to know about this, considering I he's agree. the one that set us up on our journey. Better than letting her melt. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so you guys make your way out of Pelk's Curiosities um, and head back for um, the town center. So you make your way back in. Um, at this point, it's been probably a couple of hours. It's getting pretty late at, in pushing into the nighttime. Um, Elro is still inside, um, but the, the receptionist seems to have gone home for the evening. Um, no. You make your way in. Elro he, hears, hears you come in, makes, makes his way out of his office. Uh, oh, I see you've, you've returned. Um, have you found any news, any information? Well, who wants to, like, tell him? I was taking but, uh, a drink. All right, then <laughs> just, I'll, I'll, I'll just tell him you know, everything that happened. Yeah, you know, don't need to. Yeah, yeah. okay. The vaults. Interesting, interesting. Um, I didn't know about Verla. I didn't know she had been afflicted. Um, that's certainly sorrowful news to hear. Um, I'll have to send people over there to take care of things. Um, as for the cave, um, I, I think your next course of action it might be wise to go investigate that cave to see if you can find further answers as to what this is and what's causing it um i'm not sure there were more with you earlier were there were there not um We've did, did anything happen to them is are they okay or did no, no, nothing um, bad has oh wait, happened actually, actually i forgot little... the whole reason yeah, they, uh, they fell down and they went to she has vomited oh i everywhere. see okay okay 
Yeah, um, I'd leave if it's just taken care of her. We're, we're, we're fine. Nothing nothing awful has happened. That's, it's just a little bit of um, drunken banter. That's good to hear. Um, then yes, I suggest you do make your way into the cave and see if you can explore that. Um, well, that's gang language. I'll call you that's not today. I would agree. Um, mm -hmm. If I mean, hey, there's a perfectly good hotel that I gave a gold coin. That tab might cover us for tonight. Um, actually, I I can, I can write a, a, a letter for you. Um, as as you're working for the town here, um, I I will have, uh, two rooms prepared for your party. Um, if you'd like more, you can pay on top of that. But two is as much as I can freely give you. Um, two rooms in the Jolly Dwarf for as long as you're investigating in the town. Well, shit, I see no reason to pass that up. Free stay, okay. Hell yeah. I think one room might be a bit, you know, cooler, more interesting. Well, so, if you I only know, want to yeah. utilize one of the no, rooms, that's no, your call. No, 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 that's unfair. Well, I'm no, sure fine, tensions are high among all of you as as this is a uh, stern investigation. Um, I'm, it's certainly not uplifting, but it's good to hear that so far things seem to be leading in a conclusive direction, so I hope the, the investigation continues fruitfully. Um, thank you for reporting in, um, and good luck if you manage to get down to Croker Cave there. Um, and now, if you'll excuse me, I have some business to get to. Um, and he kind of makes his way back into his office. Thanks a lot, boss man. He nods and then closes the door behind him. <laughs> nods. Don't <laughs> 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 kind of like being called boss man, I guess. <laughs> Maybe in just you. Hold the fucking phone. Um... Maybe boss man doesn't translate well into Dwarvish. <laughs> Just call them horrible slur or something. Well, it would um, be something, you know, out of the ordinary for you to call someone a horrible slur. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Sorry, th this is breaking my D&D. It's, uh, Miku's birthday. Uh, oh, I, nice. I just Happy birthday, nice, Miku. And I completely forgot Actually, my it's not the... Wait, is it today today, or is it like... Yeah, yeah, the 12th. It's a fan thing. Okay. okay. Nice! Um, Happy birthday, Miku. Happy birthday, Miku. Yeah. Fuck it, fuck it. Ping! Yeah, if any person that is not a muck person is watching this, just, you know, in the comments, really please write happy birthday. Wish Miku a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Miku. If it's not the 12th, then pretend it is. Yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, gamers. Anyway, Mugcord. That is our group name in the universe. We're all okay with this. I never get I suppose that. we should go to the Jolly Dwarf now. Recoup for the night. One second, well then. Maybe, uh, we, I guess this is also a point where we could, like... Yeah, a stopping uh, point? Well, I, I was like saying that checking out the other stores in town if you want to. Uh, they're probably all closed. It is getting pretty late, and yeah. as you made your way through uh, the town, okay. most of them did seem to be closed at this point. Alright, in that case, we, I guess you're going into the tavern. Ooh. Wait, okay. where's the tavern? Uh, um, so you make your way back to the Jolly Dwarf Tavern. Um, and... <laughs> Yo, oh, found them. Know. So you... Found them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hold on, where's, where's the toilet? Um, you Why know, they can hang out in the fire. Um, I, I'm just putting them together somewhere. <laughs> uh, so let me get, uh, Bailiff on here. So the, okay. the two human hey, adults guy? that were at this table are still there, but it, the tiefling children are no longer with them. That um, makes sense. Where'd I go? been here all day. Mando, you're at the entrance, right entrance. Oh, there. Why am I here? Yeah. <laughs> That's where I, you I were last. That's where we were last <laughs> yeah. Well, we've got some rooms, fellas. In that case, uh, yeah. first things first, we should go to the the owner the, oh, I guess and then the paper. Oh, that's true, actually. I'll do that because person. I received the paper because I was talking to the guy and telling me I remember. All right. Uh, so, yeah, the same. it's the same dwarf that was working earlier. Um, he kind of looks, ah, oh, welcome back. Um, oh, what's this? And he takes the paper. Uh, oh, so you're working on this investigation, huh? I hear there's been some unsavory things going on in town and I was hoping someone would get to the bottom of that pretty quickly so I'm glad I'm more than happy to afford you these two rooms uh will the two be enough five or between our stuff last time does anyone want to pay extra does anyone want to pay extra for an extra room yeah I'll ask like in you know, I'll ask everyone in uh, in lore 
I'm what do I say? Anyone who has to do anything, they'll lose their hand. I really think I'm getting gold for this. extra for, like, the private room. No, 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 it's fine. All right. Okay. So we have these two rooms. Before we to sleep, the room. Who is bunking? What do you mean, uh, to the rooms? Before we sleep, we probably like have dinner, and, like drink, and have like a trolley all the time. But it's like evening, Josh. Well, Maybe going we could, even, like, well, we could figure out who's bunking who based on. Oh, I guess like... we could do that. In that case, um, I would suggest drawing straws because I. Think well, let's look uh, at the rooms first. Let's look at the rooms first. Oh yeah. yeah. Is wait, uh, Tiger, is there the same, map right? for the? Is there a map for the rooms, or is it just like? Uh, I don't think so. Let me check. Oh, okay. Check, They're check, probably check, the check, same, yeah. right? Like just you know, like it's an inn. You know, most rooms are probably gonna yeah. like yeah. Be similar. They're just standard rooms. Yeah, my suggestion so is drawing like, straws. Well, how many beds? How many what? Two yeah, beds. Like how many two beds? Be there's, there's two beds in a room. Um, okay. Yeah. There are way more than that many of us. <laughs> well, some people can sleep on the floor, like a co-op. I I disagree with that. I think you're a bird. You should fucking sleep outside in a nest or something, dude. I think Loud Metal Pipe and Quahog should share a bed. I <laughs> think that would be good for our yeah, relationship development. I think me and Baylor should sleep in the same bed together. I, I yeah, think I that's it. We're both yeah. sleeping in bed. Yeah. Two. Yeah, Tag two, two beds. Yep. yep. That is unfortunate. Well, um... As I said, maybe we should draw. Maybe we should leave it up to chance, yo. Know? I mean, Alari, you, you could always take the second bed in the. I'll, I'll say the girls' room, and then just make Nibeko and Jez sleep on the floor since they're gonna get there yeah. late. <laughs> <laughs> Nibeko will absolutely not oh, object to sleeping on the floor. More yeah. Truly, <laughs> realistically, uh, so they'll end up joining one of them. Will just end up joining me in the bed. I know who it is, yeah. but you know. <laughs> So it's seeming like the Rizlin. Ah, uh, yeah. Maple we'll keep... is truly the worst outcome. Well, we can keep the boys and girls separated, but my character's not binary. Yeah, that, that, that's so rude to Kohawk, which I will in this case tolerate because <laughs> obviously. Yeah. <laughs> um. I will not stand up to this slander for Kohawk. You know what? Thanks. Thanks, Loud Bell Pipe Noise. I appreciate that. Either the way, animation way. lovers that have it. Obviously, there's only one way to do this. There should be a room for the males, a room for the Andes, and no room for the girls. Yeah, you rent them. Oh, that's but a good you know, idea. But then you're gonna the your, your most hated enemy, so like... <laughs> because it's not split the rooms once yet. Better idea. I knock Kohagra out right now and he sleeps here. Listen, I don't care who's sleeping in the room. Me and Bailiff are sleeping in the same bed. I don't care what you're on. Bailiff are together. That one's like confirmed. They've figured that out between themselves. Actually, okay. I would like to team up with the elf. You know, the real elf, not the 50% elf. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Taking out the half elf stone cold so we can, you know, just leave them here. Guys, I'll just not sleep in the same room as you, so it's fine. They know how it works. <laughs> Why? They can do this amongst themselves. This at this, at this point, game. the, the innkeeper speaks up and says, them. Well, if you're having trouble, uh, I can offer you another room for five silver. Five silver? That's actually I don't want to do that. You two can. Uh, I'm going to watch over really the. Do I'm not doing that. Right. If you want to take them off on that offer, then you can. I'll take the free room and you can pay him. I'm not paying. Right, I, keep fighting. Going... Me, I think I think me and Bailiff are. All right, Aaron and Bailiff go up and claim one of the rooms and one of the beds. Yes, okay, that's a smart choice, actually. In that case, <laughs> I will go to the other. Well, actually, no, that's, that's another. Can, As that can happens, uh, Jess and Nebeko follow into the room. Um, uh, all right, wait. So those no. four are staying in one room then. No. Jess takes the no. other bed. Nebeko uncomfortably lies down on the floor. I guess oh, I'll. Really? I'll, I'll, I'll join the girl room. They can go get the zombie. We, have to, we truly have the girl room. Five people <laughs> sharing one room is probably fine with me. I'll take the other yeah, room. If, if, if Nivik goes on the floor, I guess I'm betting with Jazz. <laughs> okay. Jazz is still fine. a little bit um, this one drunk. I can share the room now. Because there's two beds per room. You know what, Pipe? We don't have to share a bed. And I oh, appreciate yeah, obviously. 
I appreciate you standing up for me earlier, so fine, I'll 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 room with you. Yo, that's so wholesome. Maybe this is the the start of a beautiful friendship that doesn't have to involve racism concept. Maybe. It would be nice, wouldn't it? Well in that case I would like to go to that room and uh go drop off all the luggage we're carrying around. Like Yeah. Alright, sounds good. Um, so is there anything anybody wants to do before uh, going to sleep? I should say it's actually probably, good that I'm not uh, sharing all... with Jez, as I don't sleep in the first place. <laughs> oh, that's right. You trance, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Elves trance. <laughs> I sleep. I can't remember if well, I'm more human well, dominant before, or elf well, dominant, like, but I well, sleep. Before, well, before bed, we should, like, maybe have, like, dinner, because it's kind of weird to, like, you know, go, like, fight like a bunch of bandits all day and like go like walk around around carry on we can, stuff, like, and go then... look at our rooms and put these two to bed oh, yeah, that's what i'm saying because tegan said well, do you want to do anything mm -hmm. before sleeping so like sure after you can go ahead and do that stuff, come back here and eat food yeah okay. fade to black as we eat food yep so there's <laughs> still some leftover pork from the, the meal earlier um if anyone would like some um okay I'll say uh, included with the room is a single meal per person. That's wholesome. Um, so you eat the pork. It's it's not as good as it, the it, pork's not quite as good as it was before uh, when it was fresh, but it's not. It's still tasty. It's still um, yummy and scrumptious, and it fills you up. Era, what are you having? Yeah, what what is the wrap? Well, Red. I assume I, I I I hope that they still have pork left. They still have some. Uh, peas and carrots, like yeah, they did well, last. Yeah, earlier you took them from Jez, who's not here right now. Yeah. Well, I mean, if it's one meal per person, I, I can still take a meal. I just yeah, yeah. sands the meat. Mm -hmm. You take a meal's worth of peas and carrots. Epic. Munch, munch, munch. Well, bond, you know, normally people bond over eating food, so I guess you should like uh, talk about how well we did today on this journey. There are five people that died today mm -hmm. because of our absence. Well, I would Two say of them because of me, way. by the way. Just to take a little bit of credit, you know, I got the most kills here, so, you know. Um, credit where it's due to loud metal pipe noise. That crossbow. <laughs> you eviscerated that guy. <laughs> that was really cool. <laughs> Fortune favors double. <laughs> I don't think that was bold. I think that was just like <laughs> kind of cruel. But it's fine. That guy, you're you're right. He did. I gave him a first. chance. I he shot him. you first, and you gave him a chance. That's true. Um, credit where it's due. Um, I don't think there was much of a chance when he was tied up, sitting still. <laughs> well, I'm not. Well, yeah, I'm not. You no, know, the best with the crossbow. There was always a chance that I miss. It's true. It's true. I suppose. I'm an entertainer, not a hunter. You wouldn't be the first one to miss a crossbow shot. Or even the second, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I wish... Um, I not wish a good day for ranged shot. fighters until the non-ranged fighters. Yeah. <laughs> I wish you missed a crossbow shot on me because that hurt a lot. Um, did anyone else get hurt today? Uh, no. Yeah, I was no. bleeding for like 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't, obviously. Um... Well, I guess we can uh, share the experience of uh, having put sharp Thank objects for us today. Oh well, it was an eventful day. We figured out some um, interesting information, certainly. And we've got a cave to go to next time. Um, that I, I don't should. remember the name of. <laughs> Croker Cave. Okay. It, right. It is a cave where things happen. Dude, I'm hyped for the cave. I've got fucking dark vision and shit. Oh, I do too. I do not have yeah, dark vision. Oh, you're gonna need to hold my hand. Oh, my <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh no, they're gonna have to hold hands. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just fine lighting a torch. If you guys want a stealth, you can do that. Didn't that you get day. a lantern today? Well, I mean, that oh, yeah. works as well. Yeah, use that instead of the torch. You don't have a torch. You have a lantern. I have ten torches. <laughs> Whoa, good for you. I think everyone has 10 torches. They're like an every, like, pack. Well, so you gave me a crossbow bolt back, didn't you? Yes. Okay, so I have 20. Maybe I won't keep track of my individual potion arrows. When it comes to it. <laughs> I grabbed one crossbow bolt for the one I uh, put 
into that guy's neck. Nice. Ugh. Nice. Well, well, in that uh, case, uh, well, I'd like to light it up for everybody, but like <laughs> performing a trick. Okay, what oh, do you do? Nice. Is it another trick that's going to involve someone dying in the explosion <laughs> of blood? Well, entertainers don't always involve uh, massacres. I would, oh. I would like to read this cantrip for a second. Mm, what can I do with this? Mm. Egg shaving the cantrip is not very interesting, so I would just like to perform another trick with... Uh, my hearts. Alright, what do you do? Mm, that's why I just like put on a performance. Uh, I guess this time I could do like one of those magic tricks, you know, like uh, pick a card and then, you know, like, you know, do one of those. Like, pick a card and then like uh, shuffle it back in and then like I uh, reveal the top card of the deck and it magically is the card it was before. Alright, who would you, those, like, who would you okay, like to okay. do this with? Well, I'll uh, ask uh, for. Who would like to volunteer for the cool trick? I'll volunteer. Anyone else? <laughs> <laughs> I'll go. I'll do it. I'll, I'll, I'll participate in the trick. The cheerful <laughs> racket. <laughs> All right. Yeah. In that case, uh, yeah, I would like to perform a cool magic trick with the card. Uh, All right. What did I roll for this? Uh, sleight of hand check. Oh, sleight of hand. Okay, that's a, that's a plus five for me. So I, all I need to do is uh, roll these on this. A D twenty. One. Uh, not hidden. One. Sixteen plus Damn. five. Nice. Yeah, so you can successfully describe how you'd like this to go. Well, I mean, like you know, the typical uh, card trick of like uh, pick a card, any card. Zoe picks a card, uh, and like uh, the whole like. Oh, well, actually not. But maybe like uh, like the whole like the card out of Zoe's ear, apparently, because Zoe mm. has big ears. So that's like. Mm. Like so, a, so I should be able to hear this. Thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then, uh, then uh, reveal, you know, the, pull, pull the card of Zoe's ear, and it just happens to be the mm. card that Zoe picked before. Whoa! Wow. Yeah. Wow. Nobody, nobody notices any any trickery or anything. It just appears as if he performed magic. Pretty impressive. Who the fuck is Zoe? Ira, <laughs> 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 Ira, you, know, you know who Zoe is. <laughs> Just because you're German, you say the E-I sound. No, uh, no, because here's the thing, because I pronounced it Ira for the longest time, and then I looked it up, because like, I've used this name for a different character for a really long time, mm. and I looked it up, and it was fucking Aira, and I was like, oh no, my worldview. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I mean, it's your Ira character. So, so you keep saying Ira. Ira. Yeah. Okay. I, honestly, I really yeah. don't care. I guess it's up to you. <laughs> Ira, Tegan keeps saying Ira. I'm going so to forget and, and probably say Ira. both, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can correct you're me if I'm though, wrong. It's fine. It always go the hog way of just saying the rabbit. Ira is her birth name. Ira is the dick name, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Nice. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Second, real quick, are you able to change it so that when you click on Bean's character, it doesn't say image beneath it? Because if I click on everyone else, I'll say like, oh, Laria, or oh, uh, large metal pipe noise. Um, it didn't say image. That's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I think so. It, it is funny, but I would like to. Like, <laughs> yeah. Have I, can. It. I didn't even realize yeah. I didn't name the token. Image. Your oh, character's image. name is now Image. Yeah. Damn. Image. No. Image. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, does it still say Image? Yes. I I it. <laughs> yeah, it does. Wah, wah. I'm deleting you. I died. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Hello. <laughs> Swag. Pilot. Let's go. No, that's a different character. <laughs> yeah. Not playing, can't, like, can't like can't it. Yeah, this is Bailiff, no? Like, Bailiff? Yeah, that's how... Bailiff, like, Bailiff. That's how Edelgard is. We don't know Mystical fairy tales that people tell their children. Pokemon? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know. That's a good Indian lore. <laughs> <laughs> right, anything else anyone oh, yeah, wants to yeah. do before uh, going to bed? Yeah, we could, uh... We could do, for example, we, we could like uh, try to get to know each other better, like asking. Uh, you know, I would like to ask uh, everyone we were. Uh, they would like to tell us more about mm. them. Truth or dare? Truth or dare? Oh, <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> I've already taken one dare today. We can play truth or dare when everyone's here and we're drunk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> truth or dare? When we're... I'm not drunk. I've been on milk this whole time. We can do a truth or dare as well when you know just now because you know, considering that uh, one of them is the 
in tropping hell and the other one is in literal hell. <laughs> They're probably not gonna appear anytime soon. Oh, you don't have to play it this sense. <laughs> you can't play it whenever. I guess so. Mm -hmm. It's up to you guys. I have no strong preference. I think it'd be fun if we did it when the other two are here, so that they can also get insight. I will say, compared to other things, that one's gonna be harder to like. Yeah, we just have to hope. We just recap. have to hope that everyone actually appears for one time. Like, yeah. Hopefully someday. Which hasn't happened so far. Hopefully, Rumi doesn't get sent into shopping hell, and Jane isn't sick next week. Yeah, <laughs> fingers crossed. Because I mean, for the for for the foreseeable future, what we did this week, like Tuesday at three, is 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 fine with me. Yeah, that also works for Tuesday me. Tuesday works. Well, yeah, it, especially my because Lily, usually. when um, the person I interviewed with yesterday asked me what my availability was, I was like, not Tuesday. Nice. <laughs> not <laughs> that's uh, Mug and D day. That's Mug and D day. And I did not tell her it was for D&D, &D, but this is the same person who I talked to about Mug and oh, D. Oh, the interview where Mug and uh, D got you a job? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my like, Alex was just asking for my like, 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 D&D hours or whatever, and I just completely lied to them. Nice. Uh, I definitely can't do Tuesday, obviously. Nice. Um, I have classes all day on Tuesday, which is a yeah. lie. I have a different sort of class, and it's a D and D class. It's just yeah. Class. It's just of kind course, of in that after. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, well, at least this time the kangaroo took out playing cards and didn't throw one at me. So that's true. <laughs> yeah. Fair? Don't take it. Don't. Actually, I I did not throw a single playing card today at someone, which is very. I didn't throw anything at me. Well, technically, it's the same day. Oh, yeah. Well, this time, <laughs> I will be the At least uh, this time. Is it bad time, Mug Gord? <laughs> Stop calling us that. <laughs> What's wrong with Do you have any better ideas? <laughs> I still I still don't know if we need a group name. Look. I disagree with you. Don't get attached. <laughs> I'll make you don't, attached. Don't get, don't get attached at <laughs> oh. all. Because, uh, I don't want to be attached to a racist. See you in the no. bed. <laughs> Walks away. <laughs> See you in bed. We share a room, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> walks yeah. away, and then there's 20 a, seconds later, Kohog walks bed. in. <laughs> they're just staring at each other while they, uh... They're sharing the same asleep. bed, and just looking at each other, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I contact until like they both now. fall asleep. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, no, 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 no. Uh, loud middle pipe falling noise, like, perches on, like, a door. Like, a, on the window, so, like, a door <laughs> just watches <laughs> them. <them. laughs> That's funny. Why do like you do there, like, hell from Making a nest. No. Yeah, Geraldine. <laughs> I think we're gonna actually make a nest. You just place. rip up the bed sheets or something, <laughs> and then the hotel. I, would, I feel like I would have to pay extra for that. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Just like leave before they notice. <laughs> Did anyone ever notice that his like brother is on the table over here? <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> I can literally see that. Huh? Wait, what is there? There's a dead bird on the table. That looks like a pheasant. It's a bird. It's a bird. Oh, it's a, bird. It's a bird. pheasant of some sort. Oh. Is this Pac-Man? It's a turducken, don't worry. That's Pac-Man, that's fucking Pac-Man. Yeah, that's definitely Pac-Man. Yeah, Pac-Man. Pac-Man Pac Pac exists in all universes. Uh -huh. Pac-Man, Pokemon. No, I just found... I, I, I found the other brother. It is the brother of uh, Koa. <laughs> Got him! Damn! Wow! Owned. Oh. Right, right, so Kohog and Pipe go up to bed. These two are just kind of like what? Should talk all night on the floor. Let's go to on bed. The floor. <laughs> just go to bed. Come on. I'm going up. I was awake. Right, let's go. Hey, yeah. let's go, mom. Right. Let's go. Okay. Let's Everyone go. makes their way up to their rooms. You... Um. Oh. Gameplay like question: Is just a short rest or a long rest? Um, if you sleep through the night, that'll be a long rest. Okay. Right. Before um, we sleep, I would like to talk to Kohog in private. For sure. Oh. Okay. Oh. What's up, like mouth pipe noise? Right. Uh, we could do. We could pull a prank on the other people for fun. Jeez. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> right. Uh, in that case, I suggest using my mimicry cry to. Uh, Imitate someone, and then, uh, you know, the on the other side of the door, I can just uh, you know, say something, like uh, mimic someone else, and then uh, maybe that'll scare them. I'm down. 
I, I don't have any specific ideas to contribute to that. Um, Is it gonna be like when everyone's asleep, or? Well, I mean, I guess uh, it doesn't have to be like. I mean, we could also like wait until like people are like probably sleeping, or we could just do it like when people are just like resting in their room before they sleep. I think maybe, maybe when they're like sleeping, it would be creepier. Yeah, I I think we should just do it while they're still awake because I don't want to ruin either of our long rests. Wink, and wink. Smart one. <laughs> It's true, it's true. Um, mm. Did you have something specific in mind? Well, that's why I'm asking you. Do you have any idea with who I could mimic and what I could say to? Uh, maybe it cause a little bit of kerfuffle. To be fair, because you can mimic sound effects, there's some, there's some crazy nonsense you could do. Some sort of explosion. Maybe a toilet flushing. Do we have those? A um, toilet. I could mimic, I could mimic uh, the sound of a fire. You could mimic the sound of fire, that would scare the fuck out of them. Um, which I think yeah, is quite funny, to be I fair. would like to, in that case, do just that. Sound of fire? I'm there. Yeah. But you will be standing next to me the entire time, obviously, because it's, uh, this is us doing it together. Oh, you it's will... okay. All right, you maybe, know... we should, like, maybe we should be a little bit like sneaky, you know? Maybe we should do a sneak check for this, to, to, so, to not get I... found out like uh, while we're doing it. Here's my idea, right? You, you do the fire noise, they come running out, we jump scare them immediately, <laughs> once they get out of the door. And then they just like scream and shit themselves, and then we just laugh. How's that sound? If I... That would be uh, pretty funny. So, uh... Alright, let's go! Hagen, can I roll a stealth check real fast? Um, just in your room? Uh, can I, can I message you? <laughs> sure, yeah. Uh, let me know what you're doing. In the meantime, uh, is anyone else doing anything in the other room? Surely Wolfie soon comes under, like, passive perception or some shit. Yeah. So, I mean, like, theoretically, if our passive perception ends up being, like, higher than, say, like, their stealth check, would that mean that we can tell that they're there? Uh, yeah. Okay. That would be quite a feat to, like, you know, just hear, like, people walking, like, outside of your, like, hotel room be like... It depends how quiet you are. That's true. In That's the meantime, true. uh, Aira and Baylith, uh, are you doing anything in the room, or...? Just going to bed right away. Can 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 Bailiff be reading me the story the book we picked up earlier? <laughs> yeah, <it's okay>. <laughs> <laughs> what was the book called again? Was um, about love and owls and owls. There was the unlikely was romance of owls and bears. There we go. You said it was a, a comedy book, right? This is that's weird. Romance, owls, and bears. Well, it's 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 about like someone imagining what it might have been like when owl bears came into being as a mixture of owls wonder. and bears. Um, yeah, you have to wonder how that happened. <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing explicit in the book. Um, it's Don't just worry, like different ways in which they might have morphed or combined or something. Um, Luckily, this universe has, like, in-universe age ratings. <laughs> so we know that it's appropriate for, <laughs> yeah. for somebody... E for everyone. <laughs> ...of Ira's stats here. <laughs> Whoa, little baby. So they're doing that. Panda, do we, like... Or tag him. Panda and I make our, like, stealth rolls now? Uh, one sec. Okay, good. You're still trying to figure out with Wolfie. Wolfie's trying to ruin our fucking prank, but it's mad <laughs> if we, like, you know, do anything about that. Don't noise. worry. Uh, considering Wolfie's roles today, uh, yeah, a good don't worry about it. <laughs> Wolfie's also mad at gaming, by the way. Yeah. Hey, we do well, I'm, I'm, I'm asking in a way that's not mad at gaming. That's I expect uh, better of the elves. Tag him, here's that critical role guy that was, like, mad at gaming and also, like, stealing people's thunder and he got, like, kicked yeah. from the show. That was me. I forget. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll you know, that's back. the guy uh, who I started watching Critical Role and I asked, I asked Tegan, I was like, what the hell happened to him? And he was like, that. And I was like, oh my god, so I know who you're talking about, Josh. That's crazy. Yeah. Right. I think no, no, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. I do not actually mind this, Wolfie. It's okay. <laughs> I'm trying to cook like a sausage um, <laughs> tube or whatever Sorry, it's called. What, what would it be called? I think I just came up with a name, but now I a forgot. A sausage it. tube? Um, that's yeah. Character in character. No, sorry, I'm talking about like in real life right now. I'm trying to zoom. 
because because they're doing stuff. Oh, a sausage log. That I'm like reading the book to you, and I look over, and you just make me sausages. You're vegetarian. Yeah, she's just making bailiff a midnight snack. No. Um, um, I, because you guys because you guys are dealing with all that right now um yeah i'm trying to cook this sausage log and i cannot get it open for the life of me and it's not going very well um sausage log. that's all i wanted to say nice. yeah it's like how you buy it like a big chunk of like ground sausage yeah. and like a little like plastic covering or whatever but it's it's yeah oh, oh, I see. Yeah. they're actually called logs i didn't know that i don't know what they're yeah called. I think it's a better name than Sausage Tube, like I was saying. No, Sausage um, Tube is a pretty good name, I think. <laughs> Isn't that like a YouTube channel that makes like a sausage out of everything? Yes, yes, ordinary sausage. I watch all his videos. What it's so the good. fuck? Yeah. Uh, hey, to each their own, Zoe. It's it's a really entertaining channel. He's got his own stuff. He does well, like. Sorry, we're not denying him. He does. Will it blow? Where he tries to blow the sausage contents at like a picture of whatever or at, like a box what and then he ranks it on a blow do you mean no, like no. so 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 when you make sausage you put it through like a little tube and you grind it through and you push it through so it goes in the casing and when he finishes he'll blow out the remaining like 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 blow it through his air like kind of like a balloon okay. and then like see how far it can blow and then he ranks it on a scale of one to five mark ruffalos um Obviously. And then, yeah, of course. Um, he gets. Sausage I like that this will be part of the YouTube upload for this episode. By the way, <laughs> he, he gets he it's gets important. he gets sausage art, like fan art made for every um, episode, so that when he like ranks the sausage out of five, it goes like bomb, 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 and like it, it will show like the pictures he uses. And so there's like good sausage, bad sausage. So if he ranks it like three out of five, there will be like three good sausages, and then. Two bad sausages to like to like you know represent three out of five. Um, he I'm trying to think. Oh yeah, he always does the, the three, two, one. Let sausage. He sounds like Peter Griffin as well. Um, <laughs> nice. You're a big yeah. fan, I can tell. Yeah, I've been doing like a really long time. So as Aira is telling all of this to to Bailiff in the room, yeah. um... <laughs> not even like all right. <laughs> Uh, Kohog and the metal pipe noise. Uh, are you trying to sneak over into their room? I mean, I guess we're, we're just going to like the door. door. Okay. We're going to the door first. Door. Yeah. Um, cool. So you make but... your way over to the door. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah? I, I don't know where the What's door everyone is. doing? What's everyone doing? Well, I would like to... We're, uh... we're doing our prank. Yeah, I would like to... Yeah, but like, what type of prank? Where are we... Oh. Oh, we, this is long established. Bando is going to imitate the sound of a fire. Are you guys going to like discuss this outside the door? <laughs> no, 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 we have been over this in universe already. The, this yeah. happened yeah. earlier before Zoe started talking about sausage. So they've, they've, so they've just yeah. kind of silently walked yeah. over to the door at this point. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not at my computer. Have they stealth checked yet? Have they, you know? Uh, are stealth? you trying to stealth over or are you just walking? I mean, it sounds like to me that they're trying to stealth over. I feel like we should stealth yeah. over because that sounds like Wolfie's okay. meta gaming. So now we yeah. meta game back. Um, you can if you want. Yeah. I'll I'll I go first. Or you go have... first, Panda. All right, let's see. Somebody call out numbers. Thirteen I'm not plus five. Thirteen plus okay. five. That's an eighteen. Uh, hopefully I don't fucking ruin it. Five <laughs> plus two. Seven. Oh, all right, so. I mean, you hear footsteps outside the door. That's all. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah it's true. That shouldn't, sort of, like, dissuade you guys from hearing fire sounds. But Aira is talking party. very loud and consistently about sausages. <laughs> yeah. <So. laughs> Yelling about sausages. And so we can't even hear about the sausage. We can ask me, like, they, what, what are these guys doing? <laughs> yeah, so you, so you I, think I you assume... sneak over to the door. Yep. So I assume it looks like they're trying to be sneaky, even if one of them yes. isn't. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, that was uh, pretty sneaky. I don't think yeah, it would yeah, just yeah, be yeah. me. Uh, <laughs> how can I... Yeah, go on, Wolf. You ruin our say... fun. <laughs> this is all on you. We're just, we're reading in the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You guys can, like, do your thing. Are, Are you using the spell inside the room? But no, we're outside. 
Yeah. I know. It's not are, spell, you, are you, going, it's are you a, going to? It's just a yeah. nature you don't know. You don't know what they're planning at this point. Yeah. 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 <laughs> or there's another spell. It does what tankos can do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I suppose it's time. All right. Uh, in that case, I would like to imitate the noise of a big fight. All right. Uh, okay. make a deception check. All right. I hope you're only one. Deception. Let's see. Deception. Okay, that's a five. So and then Baylith and Aero, you can both roll insight against it's this. Uh -huh. right. I have sausage guts on my fingers, and I'm away <laughs> from my laptop right now. Okay. <laughs> um, um, I can so I can Baylith. roll it for you. I can roll it for you. Okay. Yeah. okay. Okay. Make sure to call out numbers. Oh God, I have a plus one for insight. Uh -huh. All right. Oh, I don't know what. I, I think I have a plus one because yeah, it's intelligence, right? Gonna, it, it's laughing. wisdom. But you rolled a ten on the dice, and uh, okay. I've got a twenty, one. so. It's not going oh, to be above true. a 20. I rolled a 10 too. All right. And that's a little, okay, that's 11. So, so yeah, as far as the two of you know, there's a fire outside the door. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. As, as the Kenku is making fire noises, uh -huh. uh, can I, like, uh, just approach behind and, like... Uh, you were that, in the room, that work? weren't you? Would that work, Tegan? Well, yeah, you can. Okay. Why, why does Wolfie have to go? She stealthed out. She did. Hog and just know. like uh, the, he feels hey. like a sort like hey, how, cold steel did, against his neck. Hey, okay. the real question is, how come Wolfie didn't have to do a stealth check on us? I, I she did. did. You just didn't know it. Oh, that's smart. That's yeah. smart. <laughs> uh, and I like, I like, as as this Kenku is you know making noises. I, I put like a cold blade against uh Kohog's was Wolfie neck. not in the room. By no, the I was outside the room. Oh, you didn't out. you didn't even notice her sneak out either. No. Oh, okay. that case, uh, yeah. you're, you're... Go ahead. Go <laughs> ahead and uh, put the blade. What in. are you two doing? Um, what did I have just now? I, I would probably I have to be here. notified by Josh about this. Uh, I mean Kohog, you know. Yeah. We got mad again so fucking hard, by the way. This is bullshit. You did not get mad. Um, I'll explain what's going on. Can you guys tell me what there. happened? Can you guys tell me what happened since my phone fell, my headphones fell out? Wolfie and I did not cheated. Hear anything. No, um, nobody cheated. Nobody like, cheated. So, look, uh, I was I was only here once. Bailiff. Did okay, so what so happened? So long story Eli short, no, I'll, I'll, I'll explain. I'll explain. No, I'll explain. No, no, I'll explain. I'll explain. So yeah, Elira no. snuck out of the room. Nobody noticed her leave. And then as Kohog and Loud Metal Pipe were sneaking up, uh, Loud Metal Pipe noise made the fire noise. Uh, all the girls mm -hmm. in the girls' room thought there was a fire, but before they could react to it. Uh, Elira, who was kind of hiding under a pile of blankets out in the hallway, snuck <laughs> up behind Kohog and put a knife to their neck. But Elira. Elaria. Oh, yeah. Why? Why are you guys so insane? Elira, so I like. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm mixing but up names. I didn't correct. I didn't correct Why did Elira. you sneak out in the first place? There is four girls in this room and two of you. Don't. That's horrible. Um. Do you, do you want me to just oh, the you know, leave it undetected when, right? when one of them is sick? Look, I think that's inappropriate conduct for this ball of Lyra. Um, it, okay, I, I, know, I have a knife against my neck now. Um, um, <laughs> right, uh, what, 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 what is Koak going to do now that uh, you notice that there's a knife against her? <laughs> Actually, do you, want a persuasion, do you want a perception check where you've been noticed that a knife is in throat? I'm trying to I mean, knife. Well, I feel it. Knife. I feel it. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's yeah. definitely a knife on their throat. Huh. Ruffy, that's really bad. It notes. She does. She doesn't seem to be giving off like an aura of you know threatening. It's more just like. <laughs> yeah, Bando, don't, don't worry. You I can't. Mean, you can't sense the killing intent. <laughs> 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 okay. There's a lot of okay. killing intent. <laughs> 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 okay, fine. I like. I I put my hands up in like a surrendering motion. Alright. I, mean, I have Wait, yeah. can, can I do like a perception check now that I... But I mean, I Kohog said Kohog things out loud. Is... You you can t you turn to oh, look wait. and you see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Then I'll, like, well, then, then I'll probably stop making a fire noise. Like... So the fire noise abruptly cuts off. Yeah. So uh, he, he just holds the plate fire, away so and uh, pockets it and just kind of like, walks well, like, behind them and stares at them. I'd like to ask the, the, the elf what they're doing outside. I already answered that question. Oh, it was in lore? Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so well, just, I, just, I don't I trust either of you enough yet. Well, I will just say that um, you're pulling a harm, harmless plank. 
right uh, you two go back to your rooms fine <laughs> fine I would like to call the elf a party pooper yeah, anyway. yeah. just say that Hard you don't have to, like, yeah. you don't <laughs> have to <laughs> roll to say right. I would like to say this I would like to, would like to try <laughs> to just roll a speaking check as a kenku yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you guys get it, right? When I say, uh, I would like to do this, and I, I, do, I did that. It's fine, it's fine. I get it. I agree to the... Get more to the roleplay. Get more to the right. roleplay of it. Uh, then I was okay. done. Okay, then, uh, boo-hoo, party pooper elf. Uh, I like what we were going for, Mal, type noise. Well, well, if you're sneaking out with the correct toys. If the... <laughs> I, I, I can't even say, like, in RP, because it's, like, too stupid. Like, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Are right, you guys done here? I'm Are not gonna, gonna say this in R. I'm not gonna say this in RP, but the 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 sound of your ass claps cheeking. <laughs> 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 they go their separate ways. Or I, I suppose everyone is in their rooms now. Right, everyone goes oh. into their rooms. Right, uh, Lara goes back, and if anyone was startled, she explains the situation. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. That is unfortunate. Yeah, so case, everyone... I would like, I would like to sulk about our prank not having worked with uh, Kohog. Yeah, as as loud metal pipe noise and Kohog are kind of bonding over their failed experience, um, <laughs> eventually sleep takes you. Um, everyone falls asleep. So everyone can, I say, we'll wrap it up right Actually, there. Actually, not everyone um, falls asleep because Wolfie is transing. Yes. Well, so the way the the way that works uh, for elves is that for uh, four hours four you hours. just kind of sit there in a meditative trance. You can't like do anything or um, aren't really aware or conscious, but you're still. In that case, Wolfie is the biggest threat. We're being accused, but Wolfie, like, while everyone else was sleeping, could like put a knife to everyone's throat. That's true. <laughs> she could. They're, 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 they're I, I could. If, but if, if for now, all the girls think I'm dead, then I guess I, I'm not. Sure <laughs> <that's good. laughs> Everyone goes to sleep. Everyone can go ahead and mark a long rest to get your health back, any spells back, and we can end the session there. Sweet. Sweet. That was, that was Yay, good. Good game, everybody. Yay. Stop recording. Thanks for watching. Mugcord uh, plays Mug Indie Episode 2. Next time, Episode 3.